Yeah, no. So I, I liked them to... before they were cool. I know, you did. And then I liked them. And then I went to listen to them, you know, more recently. And I'm like, cool, they got a, they're they coming to Florida. So I went My to marriage. get tickets. When I went to get tickets, they sold out. Or, uh, no, I first I didn't get the code for the pre-sale until 30 minutes after the pre-sale was over for the locals. I was like, okay, you know what, whatever. I can use that code tomorrow or, you know, whatever. So then I get into the second day thing and there's just no seats. Like, it yeah. just, the code doesn't work, nothing's working. All right, Dude. cool, whatever. So I wait the third day, general, uh, general admission. They sold out in under five minutes. Fucking yep. sleep token, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, there were two bands <laughs> uh, that I two, two bands oh. that I discovered when I was at uni a couple of years ago. Yeah, you know, I did nothing but listen to music. Then they're now both. I mean, they're not like. Uh, they were Insane. also like in the thousands of monthly viewers. Yeah, uh, they're now one seven hundred and sixty-five. The other one's like four hundred and fifty thousand. It's upsetting, but I'm I'm happy for them. But I but... like my, I like my music. Yeah, that's why I was hoping I could get tickets, because I'm like, yeah, they're popular, but I don't think they're popular. And then I went to get those sleep token tickets, and under five minutes they sold out. I'm like, okay. I'm Either okay. that's Blood... bots and scalpers, or... <laughs> Blood Command, which is my one of my favorite bands, is still under 100,000 monthly listeners, so that's good. That I, can, you I can live. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad that they're not successful. <laughs> Winona Fighter, dude, they were minuscule. They had like three fucking 3,000 views, uh, listeners. And I only, I only found them a few, like, months ago. Now, uh, they're at over 100,000 monthly listeners. Yeah, because like said, they went on a tour with, uh, them. they went on a tour with, um, fucking... God damn it, I logged off for a couple hours and they're all starving uh, and major injuries. Uh, what the fuck is that band again? I'm asking um, Sarah to change that. It's not a thing that she can change. It's when the server crashes, they get fucked. And they stop the day. Yeah, it's just a bug. That's not something I can train. <laughs> I that's thought we could I turn off. My, that's why I put my stuff away. I thought I did yesterday. I must have taken him out at one point. Why are y'all starving? There's food right here. Oh shit, there ain't. Okay, I'll sacrifice my last 34 berries so that you guys will get back to work. Do you still need this Faelris egg? Oh yeah, I wasn't able to grab it yesterday. It counts as your property. The Offspring. They went on a tour with the Offspring and they got... Yeah, today's goal is to Here. start uh, moving into the volcano lands. Poop out the egg, daddy. <laughs> drop your load on me. That was this one. <laughs> I was watching the bird. I thought you were going to drop it from there. <laughs> Alright, so uh, if anyone got some extra berries. Actually, no, we should be fine. Looks like we're kind of getting over it. I will say Anubis, his uh, fucking work ethic is just incredible. I went to make something yesterday, like Gigaballs or whatever it was. I called him out out of my party. And he, like me, I was holding F for like a good minute or two. It, the thing was barely moving. I tell him to do it. He got it done like it's a normal task. Like, you know. Fuck. Between him and the bird, I'm basically golden. I'll put my fucking flower in there too. <sighs> oh damn, all the flowers gone. And the harvest. I do well, you know what I hate about my release radar? The fact that half the bands I don't even recognize the names of, so why the fuck are they in my release radar? That's why they're in your release radar. No, that's so my you're... Discover Weekly. That's your Discover Weekly. Uh, they, the odds are the they've difference. probably done like a fucking collab with someone that you yeah. know at some point in time. Because Spotify's weird like, mm -hmm. like that. 
Dude, Alien Ant Farm released new music? What the fuck? Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys like uh, Death Clock, but they have a new album too. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I have not listened to Alien Ant Farm at all. On, on Spotify. Why is this in my release radar? Which means to take the flaps up for for takeoff flaps, Patrick? About two fifty. What? You just don't use takeoff flaps. It like doesn't matter in this game. You, I don't you know. Can use I don't know, dude. To take off slightly faster, but as soon as you're in the air, just start switching to regular once you're like fifty yeah. feet or hundred feet off the ground. I I don't. I just don't use flaps. It just depends on your bomb load at that point, because sometimes your shit's super. You get your hot heavy. load coming in. Yeah. yeah. When you're fucking got that full load and your plane just like I don't feel like taking off, you're just like. I need flaps. <laughs> that's pretty much, that's actually gonna pretty add, much the only time that you need flaps. I'm gonna yeah. add glider toes to this game. Glider toes? <laughs> like toes? Toad. Like people's toes? Like oh, you get towed by a glider. You mean the glider gets towed by a plane? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. That's, yeah, when they gonna add that? When they gonna add glide bombs to this fucking game? <laughs> I think they There's have... There's glide bombs already. There's some. walleyes in the game. Yeah, they got walleyes and they got the... Uh, What's that other one? The they're gonna add the oh, and they, they got the slow boy bombs, the uh, fucking parachute bombs. When are they gonna add the fucking? Uh... You mean retarded bombs? I see. I was trying to not say hey, that. Is, you know, trying you to just be say better. dumb. No, they're not dumb bombs though. Well, no. Yeah, yeah I guess they are dumb. <laughs> they dumb they don't have guys. They're retarded dumb bombs. They're fake and gay. <laughs> There's another word for them. Drag bombs. That's what we used to call them. Drag bombs. High drag bombs. Yeah. They're drag bombs. They're well, sassy. Well, the thing is, is they're, uh, no, so they're, uh, <laughs> they're parachute retarded bombs. So. <laughs> parachute retarded bombs. Because the other ones are called uh, snake All right. bombs. If anyone's right. got some extra blood, then I'll take it. If these fuckers got fractures out the ass and they're depressed. Oh. It's the so fucking, it's the, the Wolf of Wall Street arrow. meme, dude. I'm, I'm pointing and fucking whistling, dude. It's me. Hey, oh, 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 oh. That wasn't Wolf of Wall Street. That was, um... You were not in Wolf of Wall movie Street. One. There's no way. There's no way you were in that movie. That was, uh... What were you doing in that movie? Story in Hollywood? Did you what star in that movie? No, no, I wasn't in the movie. You just I was saying, in that movie. No, I said that wasn't Wolf of Wall Street. That was um It is Wolf of Wall Street. Once upon a time in Hollywood. It's Wolf when of he Wall sees Street. himself. No, 100%. it's not. It's not. Go fucking look it up. Ah, I know uh, your memes. Uh, I, uh, no, I want to gaslight you more. No, it's <laughs> I was like, what you is? know it's not. The I'm the scene where he's sitting on the chair and uh, it's, he's uh you know, pointing and snapping his fingers like, There I am. <laughs> Sarah, let me gaslight him more. No. <laughs> Join me. You're just wrong. You're just dumb. <laughs> Join, Join me. me in the gaslighting. Sounds like Pat's trying to cover up him being wrong. Yeah. No, I, uh, Again. Is it, is it not Wolf of Wall Street? I, I haven't it's seen not, Wolf no. of Wall Street. I've only seen the... Uh, Once upon a time. Dude, Pat, yeah. you know what I watched yesterday, which was fucking great, but also, like, dang, this movie's fucking crazy. I watched what? the uh, director's cut of uh, Fellowship of the Ring. I was uh, like, holy yeah, doing fuck, that. dude. They're long movies, but they fill in all the plot oh, yeah. holes and make the movie. Better. I was like, yeah, I was the like, thing is, I already don't care dude. about Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but that's you. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. It's like they have some fucking fever dream shots, dude, in that fucking movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Peter that's Jackson's a bit of a psychopath, so. Like when how, fucking how Frodo gets to the sh uh, thing, gets to Rivendell and he's all like fucked up off of the fucking Morgul blade. Yeah. And they're, and they're just like. He's, it looks like he's tripping the fuck out, and then they've got fucking Elrond in the corner of the fucking screen, just like green screened on for some reason. No, I <laughs> fucked it up. Damn it. <laughs> Couldn't thread the needle, could you? Bitch boy. I'm being picked apart here. Hey, uh, Cortana, what's a quick way to raise sanity on all your fuckers? Because they're all at zero. It increases if you just, like, if they just do stuff and, like, ah, 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 depressed fuck, it's not in a fucking, and shit. Fucking That's thunder jet, right. dude. Let's see if I, can make I just put them in your pal box for a little bit. Okay, I'll do that. Just no work for a while. Look, boys, you get the day off. You're no longer slaves. Good for you.
fucking slave. You earned it. Oh yeah, what was that egg you gave me again? Is that the bird? Yes. Okay. I forgot, why did we need this second bird? I remember I needed it. I don't remember why. I was very tired by that time. So you get the saddle recipe later on. Oh, that's right. The capture. Okay. Yeah, I stay up for probably another six hours playing. So I might have a problem. <laughs> and then I woke up, ate some food, and then I logged into TeamSpeak and started playing again. I'm not good. I've seen there's a fucking Ontos creeper. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah. Take a shot at me. You took a shot at me. You know, here. Actually, we can't do this. I'll put it back. And then we'll get back to working on our Fire Nation. Yeah, there's a fucking Antos fucking prowling around here somewhere, dude. A little fucking weasel, dude. There's someone prowling around here. <laughs> hmm. Can you help out with that? Easy. Yeah. Oh, I caught some more. I ah, fuck! It's nice some story. more catresses yesterday. Shit. So now I'll have a team of them. <laughs> so we'll finally be able to fight everything at any level. Yo, where do I need to ping the is three to kill it again? Oh, right there. Easy. Oh, he was helping. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. We're not super hard up for food, but we can kill a bunch of things to get the food. Fuck is a skink? A... What? <laughs> skink, it's a Sherman with four 20 mils in the turret. I was gonna say, in real life... It's not life. particularly scary. It's a lizard. Yeah, skink it... is a lizard. Ah. The, uh, the 20 mils are worse than the Ehrlichens. Yep. Yeah, because people in weird parts of the planet name things funny. It is a lizard. What's your carrying capacity? 1230. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're yoked out too. I really need that reset potion. I need to get back all the ones I used on dumb shit.
Oh, get fucking pushed, dude. Get pushed. Get mobbed, dude. Dragon Life's tomatoes, don't tell them. We were talking about Lord of the Rings, so I'm Mary, being a Merry and Pippin. <laughs> Can steal his tomatoes. <laughs> there you go, boys. More sustenance. <laughs> Same uh, does a little bit more sanity. Oh, right now. Oh, it does close nutrition, no sanity. Man, these are some nice fucking guest rooms I'm making. <laughs> I thought you were already done with it. I finished the exterior. Now I have to furnish it. Oh, okay. I thought you already furnished it yesterday when we were talking about it. Man, I wish I could give items to a noob. Let's be like, run to base and put this in a box. <laughs> oh, sprinty bitch. He was fun. I was doing a little raid yesterday, and uh, he was kicking a crap. What the fuck was this guy doing? Is fucking Sherman, Sherman 105? What is it? What? What? You can overpressure the shit out of people that think so. No, oh, my gunner! Look, you the problem with the 105 is if you get hit by it, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so hit it first. It's got a long reload. Get some. You gotta put the round under someone's hull or like under their gun because then it over because then it overpressures the top of the hull where it's thin and it kills your own inside. I need electric organ. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, fuck the French or whatever you're saying. <laughs> oh, that's it, boys. I'm cooked. Yep. Dude, a conqueror? That thing is... Significantly more modern than my uh, my Tiger Two. Mm, they're about the same. Is it? I I do not know. The Conqueror tank was uh, built. Uh, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> I was thinking of the Centurion. Collecting. Yeah, Centurion. I could see <laughs> Conqueror. I was like, that looks. That looks a little bit too new. I 
Anubis, where you at? Oh, you're in my team. Okay. Oh, you don't help with that? Okay. Well, I hope you help with something else then. Oh, he's alive, isn't he? He really just jayed out of that thing. What a little fucking weasel, dude. I'm glad it, uh, War Thunder gives you the kill, and unlike Battle, I mean, it gave me the, the kill. I mean, like, why, why just kill. a fucking death before disembark, bro? That's what I was do. I'd rather take the L by slamming into the ground. It's like you know for a fact he's gonna come in revenge bomb now. Yep. There are some people I see do it, and when there's like no hope, and I'm just like, oh, you little wuss. Lady, lady, I don't need you doing that. I need you working on the fucking mm -hmm. medicine to undepress my fucking bird. Oh, motherfucker, dude. Oh, you fucking idiot. Yep. Where are you going? There's a revenge bomb. No, he's out of bombs. You fucking fool, dude. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> what? Absolute buffoon. Think. Should get there. Let's go catch the catrices. I don't mean to excite you, Arch. Yo. White Brezka plate carrier. White Brezka plate carrier. Mm-hmm. Have you sent it to me on Instagram? Is that what my phone's vibrating for? No, no. I'll flick it to you on Dick Court. It's from Kuchiki. Kuchiki. It's Swifty. Kuchiki Supply. Lift is a lifting company. Mm-hmm. Lifting what? Like weights? Sorry, I'm like no, fighting don't. for my goddamn life right now, dude. Nah, you would be <laughs> fucking for your life when you're oh. a piece of shit. I know, a right? Weak ass American, I guess. Based Russians. If the devs have anything to say about it. It's where the fuck is this guy at? Oh, he's there. Ah! Boys getting wrecked. Nah, I fucking I couldn't get the gun around fast enough. A little spit, a little fucking speedy BMP2 got me. I hate that their guns are actually weird, weirdly effective not BMP, against things sorry, that shouldn't I, I be effective. BMP1, but I bounced his fucking his little fucking 73 mil fucking penis puncher that he's got, and then the fucking Peter I couldn't puncher? get the gun whipped around a fucking machine gun, the ATGM that was spinning towards me. <laughs> I like shooting those. As long as you the shoot spinny it, boy it's was coming, coming from. a little too quick. I was gonna say your machine gun couldn't can take them out, which is cool. Well, uh, see that's the problem with the tiger. If your commander dies, you lose oh, the you fucking the roof mounted one, and the uh, the turret's pretty fucking slow. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you get for beating a tiger. Should have played as German. Should have played as American. That's the only game where I actually don't mind playing as Russia, and like getting that Russian bias feels good. <laughs> Where the hell are all the catresses today? I love being able to just Spider-Man on my walls to build these curtains. 
<laughs> like a creep. Yo, okay, who's who wants to come to fucking UFC in Seattle with me in June? Sure. Uh, you paying for the place? Covington versus fucking Covington versus Brackmanov, dude. You paying for the flights? Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, if you'll flight. actually come, sure. Yeah, you get the. Yeah, I want to see fucking America's... stop that fucking murder, Colby Covington. Dude. Do it. <laughs> I'd love to get absolutely wasted and go to the UFC fight. <laughs> dude, your commander is fucking dead as shit, ma. Ah. That weird fucking cat's back. <laughs> There's the power ball. Oh, there we go. Oh, those are IS-2? Nor! I thought it was scarier. If I knew it was only an IS-2, I would have fucking attempted to do more. Hey, Cortana, where are you finding like, most of your Wow, one of the best tanks of the war. Not that scary. Well, okay, I mean, in, in terms of, like, its armor and, and angles and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I suppose it's, it's... I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It used to be the big dog... At night, too? ...with the Tiger, too. Yes. No, they, 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 they yeah, used to be, like, mad. fucking Groudon and Kyogre, dude. They were standing on business with each, against each other. Normally I would have Not like all these fucking right now, but now that modern I'm tanks for, that are the same oh, DR for whatever reason. I take it back. I found one. Or sorry, Patrick. Should I should I be uh, a historically accurate individual and call it a JS2? The use of stuff. Well, I mean, historically it's accurate is actually I because the J it doesn't exist in Russian language. It's an I, so. Well, it, it depends on what point in history. You you imagine not having Js. Yeah. I'm not from, if I'm not. Incorrect. I believe the I, dude, he fell out of favor with the party and disappeared. The little I is, uh... The I, dude, favor. fell out of favor with the party. He fell out of favor with the party, <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, someone <laughs> got rid of the little I. Hey, I caught a catrice. Alright, that's the second one right here. Wait, how many hairs did you need to make that hat, by the way? Is it, like, ten or something? Like four or six. Oh damn. Okay. I already got like three by the time I'm trying. So like damn. If you're still looking for my top, <laughs> I can make well, it a second. Hat. Funnily, funnily enough, looking at the Russian pronunciation, Joseph. They don't even have a J. It's B Z H. Sounds like J J Joseph. It's fake. It is. It's not a real language. You're right. Yeah. Hell, they don't even spell with Latin letters. What the fuck? I either catch or I die. Oh. Yep, okay, so we got two. I think that means I'm up to four of them, so now I have a party. Yeah, I was looking all over the island and I wasn't seeing them. I'm like, they should be here. This is where I always find them. And as soon as I was giving up, then it was like, hey, by the way, there's two right next to each other. Yeah. We're getting to a fight. Yeah, drop kick that loser. Dude, what the fuck is this map? Arctic Pier? Pierre? Pierre? What are you doing? P-I-E-R? What the fuck is this? Where am I? Oh god, this looks like a big map too. Got food on you? Nope. I'm gonna carve you up. <laughs> oh yeah, I got up here like a motherfucker. <laughs> ah, no, there's an IS-4! What's the fire rate on the table? It's, 
uh, is decent. It's slightly too slow for me. Like it's he's like fucking a, up my rhythm. It's like a giant shit. Oh, dude, there's like a fucking a frozen tanker ship. That's cool. We got more food for y'all. Can you guys eat seeds? No. <laughs> Negative. Seedless. What the fuck is that? M18? Yeah. Yep. The fuck? That guy got up here hard. I wish there was a way to see like their common drops <gasps> of like the things you're looking at. It does tell you, you can see what drops animals have pain. And the pal deck. Oh, I can look at the pal deck. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Honey. <laughs> In the pal deck. Oh yeah, get mobility killed, bitch. I can mog you, you fucking idiot. Get mogged on, loser. David Moggins is in the building, dude. <laughs> IKV91? That's the definitely higher tier than fucking 6.7. Down. That's possible. Yeah. Oh, nay, they killed the fucking 114. I don't know what that is. Oh, no, they fucking hit the IS4 as well, dude. Yeah, sounding like. Oh, they killed the IS4. Hey. Hmm. Oh, team is starving. Yeah, I'm trying, boys. Yes, and Oh, hey, Cortana, remember how I was talking about yesterday, I wish you could fall out of the sky whenever you wanted? Maybe. Like how in, um, when you run out of stamina in your flying mount, you can just suddenly fall out of the sky real fast. I was saying I yes. wish that was just an option. I figured out how to do it. What? Fucking... How? Oh, how? How? Alright, so once you're flying in the air, you want to drop somewhere? Uh, press F to dismount, and then hold F immediately. So like, boom, and then get back on, and then you slammed it into the ground. Like, no damage, so it's still like you just rode it to the ground out of stamina. It's nice. I knew my years of bug busting would come in handy. <laughs> PETA guys need to relax. I'm trying to feed my family. that has a premium fucking tiger too that's not germany uh there's a hungarian tiger in it. Like, i don't think it's a uh, premium no what are you uh, what country is that under? like a tiger too you can search them. i don't think it's any tiger you can search in vehicles and it'll show you every version of it i'm saying when you're out 
I could have sworn this is Tiger too. It looks like it. Like it's got the fucking elongated fucking Kingdom of the Crystal Skull looking ass turret, dude. Elon Musk. Oh motherfucker, that's a fucking IS3. Execution. I don't think there's any other countries that use Tiger 2s. That's a mouse, dude. Alright, you know what I need to do? I need to go get the. What on earth is it? They didn't make it so you can play against your own fucking nation, you can't. Yeah, you can. Americans end up doing it all the time. It's really annoying. Very bush They totally did, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fighting Germany right now. What the fuck? What are you doing? That's crazy. What Mark Felton video did I stumble into, dude? I'm so sorry. What, what tank was it? The Tiger 2P. Are you That's versing Germany, too? I'm Germany. I, I didn't know you Yeah, look, those, look at Tev and see if you're versing Germany as well. How do I how do I see what nations I'm chickens. fighting? Put the flags on top of the top I'm of the in, school. I'm in game. I'm in game. Oh, yeah. No, it is. Wow. That's weird. Germany versus Germany. It's like Mark Felton and fucking Tom Cruise Valkyrie had a baby. You fucking idiots, I know how to kill- I know how to destroy you. I am you. <laughs> Don't make me destroy you. You know what you are? You're the ones, uh, the German army fighting the SS. Towards the end of the war. Nah, not just the SS. <laughs> I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Man, it must be nice to have different skins for every fucking... every tank for different environments. Yeah. It's called All these fuckers sir. in their white tanks, dude. You know, it's only like... 200 kills. Damn, that chicken's really going. Oh, nay! What happened? Nay! Nay, not the mouse! Oh my god, I super sick. Actual mouse in game. I haven't seen one of those in many years. And ball mutton. That'll be some. Maybe I'll just sit on all this food and wait for you guys. I like that it always sounds like the land balls go no when they die. Also, trying to go for headshots in this game is super hard. Like, such a sweet spot. There we go, that was... I can't see shit out here. It's brighter than a motherfucker. What are we saying, boys? Thousand pound bomb right on top of a mouse? Not gonna be enough to yes. kill it, is it? No, it will. I mean, it should be, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a top down hit. Where its armor is probably the weakest. Oh, they've been putting. Nothing, nothing mouse... takes a few hundred uh, kilograms of high games, game's over already. Uh, they've been putting the mouse in uh, higher tier games now because I don't know if the person drags it themselves or they're just like, nothing at the tier it should be at can take it. So they started putting them in with the Abrams and shit. And every time I oh, see one, fuck. I just one tap it. it. Feels so good. 
That doesn't make any sense. It's like revenge for all the times that mouses have killed me. Let's find out what the battery rating of the mouse is. It's 7.7. .7. It's not being. It's only going then, to make Then they're hate yeah, riding with their. Team. Well, no, no. Are we, we're talking E100 or the OG mouse. I just googled mouse. I don't know. Because the E100 some points. So, ah, I guess. Well, the mouse is the one that. No, both of them have the fucking. The OG mouse only has the one turret. Doesn't have the twin, does it? No idea. A door nor. Don't know. Come here, chicken. Chicken! Give me ten days! Oh yeah, I got down here. You love to see it. You love to see it when the spawn point amount goes up. Team is no longer starving. It was really sad. Especially for Dana. I've seen more hype online about fucking Jobcot versus fucking Covington at whatever fucking UFC it's gonna be than, than for 300 that's coming up. Did they like restart the numbers? Because I feel like it should be higher than 300 by now. It's been what, years that the UFC's been around? Die bravely. Wherever the most second is. If I didn't have so much damn ore on me, this would be fine. Wait. You're shiny. You mean a lucky? Yeah, lucky. I hear sparkly. Legally distinct. Yeah, yeah legally distinct. Lucky. Stuck in the wall? Am I just blind? I mean, to be fair, at least the legally distinct shinies in this game actually do something other than be a different color. Yeah. I don't see it. I think it's stuck in the wall. Let's check the side of this cat. Damn, I think it's stuck in the wall, so I can't see it. Find it for me. Oh, 
there it is. Yeah, it's in the wall. Yeah. What? Hey, I got it to pop out of the wall. Suck it, loser. Shit him out of the balls. Hmm. Get back in the ball. Whack. Yeah, level 27. <laughs> I caught a, a sparkly little Katiba. Been having Bo Burnham stuck in my head for like a week. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Actually, let me cook the food. No depression for you, big guy. Do that after big dog. Do this first. Help. I like these pals that you've given me that kind of help out with the workload and stuff. And it's literally just feel like, I'm helping! <laughs> As they're like basically completing it themselves with no help from me. Like, they're just so good. Five seconds. Jeez. And these are high grade meals too. Ew, Flanders. Ew, ew, ew. Flanders Fields? Yep. Haven't seen that map in a little while. Yep. Can't say I'm happy to see it again. <laughs> Sucks. 
Yeah, that does. Oh, you guys want to hear something fucking comical? Sure. <coughs> it was, uh, it was my dad's birthday yesterday. So I, like, get home, and I'm just like, oh, there's a letter for me. I'm like, oh, what is this? I was like, a parking ticket? What the fuck? <laughs> for what? So I was, like, looking, I was like, 7:15 a.m. I was like, I was, I'm not even out of the, I haven't left the house that early in fucking weeks. I was like, what, where is, what is? I was like, and then the, the uh, you get a picture of the fucking the ticket too, like the vehicle for the ticket too. I'm like, that's in front of Tim Hortons. I don't even go to Tim Hortons. The fuck? I was like, oh, it's my fucking dad. I was like, hey, dad, happy birthday. Give me a hundred bucks. <laughs> He was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'll get back to berries in a minute. He's on. Oh no, I messed up my order. I'll fix it. I'm gonna lay down the bed and I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, motherfucker, dude. Give that one a bit too much jam.
10 hours until more free iron. You said 10 hours until morphin? No. Dude, morphin time? Yo, Patrick, you see the fucking, you see the shenanigans that happen in your fucking shithole country neighbors? Which, which ones? Fucking in Oz, dude. What do they do? OZ? Fucking child that crawled inside of the fucking claw machine? What the fuck? I shit you not, in fucking Brisbane? A child somehow managed to crawl inside of a claw machine, and the police were called. <laughs> that kid looks like a fucking little shit. Uh, <laughs> right? Kid's just a little fucker, dude. Did you pull the video up? Or you want me to fucking find it? No, I just found it. <laughs> Look at all the cops are just like, the fuck are we supposed to do? Mm-hmm. Like, we haven't gotten this far. Normally people call the fire department for this kind of shit. Turn back what I miss. Absolutely nothing. I learned something new while I was on the toilet. And it wasn't about my body. So, uh, Nickelodeon's apparently gonna be broadcasting the Super Bowl. And they're gonna have SpongeBob singing the, uh, what is it, the Sweet Victory song? Thing that everyone requested for last year's Super Bowl. Oh, you mean the time they almost did it and then it was a stupid fucking fake out? Yep. So now they're finally doing it for real. Which is good. Alright, looks like all my pals are back to normal. 
other than their weakened status, which, you know, I don't give a shit right now. As long as they eat. Dude, you guys want to know what a fucking conversation starter is? Like a legit conversation starter? Get yourself a big ass sandwich at the fucking at the deli at the grocery store that fucking people don't even know exist. You will fucking you will become the most popular MF in the lineup at the grocery store. Why? Legit had like fucking three different people fucking start chatting me up. What the fuck? That's a big sandwich. I'm like, you know what the best part is? It's only six dollars. They're like, that's crazy. No way. Dude, it's a walking advertisement. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> I mean, I was chatting up this fucking Are you, are you, are you a fucking lie. grocery store shill now? You're like, hey, yo, girl, you want some of this sandwich? <laughs> well, she was standing next to me in line, and she was just like, that's that's a good value for six dollars. Like, you, you can't buy the ingredients for six dollars. And I was like, no, it's not bad. And she was fucking... Hypocrite hill. Fucking, <laughs> I helped her carry some stuff out to her car, too, because she had a lot of things and not a box. I can build my armor now. Didn't commit, though. Didn't commit. Didn't commit. We hate to see it. But okay, bye. Yeah. Berries. Uh, resistant armor. And then I go make my home. Thank you, Anubis. You're real G. Get that motherfucker. Burn those motherfuckers. <laughs> I hate that all the traders seem to sell the same shit. And not for better prices ever. I'm up to 69,000 gold as of today. Hmm? For you. you gotta push up. I'm at 110k. Should okay, get off the pole. I was at 10,000 yesterday. <laughs> I just sold all my schematics that I didn't need anymore. Made so much money. <laughs> I know you're hungry. Just wait a second, stupid character. <laughs> Wait, is that guy's permadead that I accidentally killed? Oh no. Hmm. Oh, it looks like the berries haven't come back yet. That sucks. Uh... What? Oh. Look, it's my old home. Alright, aside from the personal tower, this castle is basically completely furnished. Nice. 
Yeah. Oh, fucking score. I got medical supplies in that. Trey, now you can juice your fucking pals up so they aren't fucking sad and shit. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> most of them are just fucking depressed right now. There should be a way to turn that off. I hope they do that for me. I imagine Dragon Life's little pals that sit there fucking mining all day are probably sad as fuck. Then again, they're also the night types, so maybe not. No, because it isn't a setting we can change. It's literally a bug. I'm saying I hope they, they make a setting for it or something in the future where it's just that it's non-existent. Having your little dudes randomly get There doesn't need to be a setting cause it's just broken. Oh, okay. Why are you shooting the ground? What's happening is they either aren't unloading properly or they're just getting stuck after server crashes while being loaded and thus they starve. Yeah. We hmm? hate them. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. It's really funny watching my Anubis, like, fucking Naruto sprint around. He's so fast. I do like that this is one of those games that rewards exploration. Nay! What do we name? Motherfucker in his goddamn Israeli Sherman. and we'll have some good meat on it. Come here, you fuck. Game cheated me. Ain't no me. Where else I can get berry bushes?
Are you and what do you want? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Legalize a trip. Cut it off too soon, brother. I don't know what, what we're legalizing. Say. Yeah, I was like, legalize Trump. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah, fucking free him, dude. Free him. Isn't he not even arrested? <laughs> like, that fucking guy. Legalize Tremble on us, take. Fuck, dude, I can't wait till unlock the Panther 2. Just get the fucking. What the fuck? Get the big boy turret on it. <sighs> Trend blowing the ends to tame. What is. Whatever you just said. Dude, Power World is dead. Is it? No. How's it dead? Nara one playing that video game no more. You say when they what just has hit killed their it? almost three million. <laughs> three million? Yeah, they almost hit three million c concurrent players recently. Cat. I don't know. Blame blame a uh, game bite or whatever. One of those. It's like top three games on the Steam with concurrent. Peak players is two million on Steam. Yeah, but two point what million? One. Oh, well then, yeah, the Game Boy doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about, as usual. So, that's pretty good. Game dead. Game dead, because it's Calm. too late. Game dead like YouTube streaming. Is it better than, uh... Why? Why YouTube streaming dead? Because you can't even moderate your fucking chat. Because there's no emotes. Literally. Yeah, there's no emotes, there's no moderators. Yeah, but YouTube still have big streamers on their platform, don't they? Yeah, but that's because they pay them to be that's there. That's because the mongoloid fucking Hellcat owners are just pressing W anytime something comes <laughs> Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. The usual suspects. <laughs> no, you can't say that, dude. You can't say the usual suspects. Fucking NBA, like... NBA fucking 2K fucking streamers, you know? You know what I'm talking about. They're, they're audiences. <laughs> oh, Yo, man. You can't fucking say that, dude. Well, you can't make fun yeah, that, of, uh... You cannot say that, dude. We can't I'd make wager fun the of... biggest streamers on YouTube are VTubers, honestly. Honestly, probably. Oh, I, I think the biggest streamers are NBA... Are the NBA streamers and the, and the GTRP streamers. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, there's a lot which, of people that like Which I mean, GTA the VTubers do a lot of GT, GTA RP also, but you know, that's just like... In I don't know why people like GTA RP, it's so fucking boring, dude. It's, it is boring. boring. Even playing it was boring. I tried there's, to have fun with it, but the glitches cool. were too bad. Dude, there's tell me I'm wrong. It's cool, but that's yeah. it. GTA yeah, RP is, broken, is popular so. second life. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, yeah. For the people that miss the second life vote. Like, it's the same reason. When are we gonna really... play Daisy RP? That mm. exists. That's no, why I don't really watch Tarkov streamers because it's Wait, like then it's cool have for like thirty the seconds LRP and then it's just boring for twenty minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Dude, what, watching Luis play Daisy RP for the longest time. Oh my god, it's so good. You know what I was really shocked about? I got into the fucking. I, I got whitelisted on Daisy yeah, RP. <laughs> oh, dude, I got whitelisted like twice. I got like whitelisted on the actual server. Yeah. Like, on the big boy server, and, oh, yeah. uh, there was just nothing ever fucking going on when I was playing. <laughs> you just playing Daisy like normal? I was like, dang. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a content farm for YouTube, as it all was. You didn't? Yeah, you didn't have an audience. <laughs> I had a fucking sick character, dude. It was just... You know, no, but like, uh, can you shoot people in Daisy RP, or is everyone supposed to try to survive together? Some oh, I don't like, remember. What's, what's like no, well, the, the rules, the rules were like, you know, you gotta like RP first. You can't just straight up shoot people. I Daisy can't, RP I, was like. I was gonna say Daisy actually, RP is let's fail RP just by shooting Bambies, and no one's really out trying to do that. But still, like, come on. What if I'm RPing as somebody who shoots first? Yeah, and that's what I would do. If you got beans in your backpack, I'm gonna fucking just put one through your head. <laughs> I can smell them. I smell the beans. <laughs> I 
What the fuck? You gotta what play a rapist. Did Lewis Hamilton leaves Mercedes and joins Ferrari yep. for the next yep. season? Yup, yup, It's Luis happening, dude. Is so frustrated. So he's, he watched Ferrari consistently fuck up for the last three years and said, that's a good place to go. Oh, dude. Look, as long as they just motherfucker, looking. dude. I swear to God, he's actually hiding in the fucking... This motherfucking tunnel snake, dude. Tunnel snakes. Tunnel snakes rule. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to say anything. Uh huh. If his he's plane cheating, is just... real. If he's cheating, and, and just he's hiding uh... in a tunnel. So he's based. Yeah, I was gonna say. And red pill. Pretty base. I don't know about red pill. Yo, though. yo, yo, <laughs> yo. Why? <sighs> Are you laying down there, uh, Cortana? If you're in server. I can. <sighs> okay. Yeah, all my dudes went to sleep, and I'm like, I need them awake to make food because we're starving. Holy, over here. I will use one of my fancy guest rooms. <laughs> this is actually a good game right now. Oh, I'm hey, if you dude. have, um, Hardly if you would like to do a humanitarian crews. aid to my base with some berries or something simple, like, we need to, like, a son of a bitch. Like, my dudes are not producing food anymore. Like, they should be because they're all. Warrant food. issue for Blueface. Expected. I thought he was already in jail. He violated his probation. He was in jail already, though. How'd he get out? Which well, fucking idiot money. let him out in the first place, dude? <laughs> well, it's because it's because he, he was in he was in LA County Jail. Yeah. And then he got out. Why was he, he even a, released? And he had a probation violation in California, and it followed him into into Nevada. Yeah, I yep. still, I think I still have a bench warrant in uh, Pennsylvania, so I feel that. Pokimane leaves Twitch for YouTube. Yeah, I keep seeing that shit. No, I, she, apparently she's leaving she, streaming altogether. Yeah. That's she thinks it. people are gonna watch her podcast. That's about it. Her podcast. Yeah. I mean, granted, she's got like more money than God, so it doesn't matter. But... It doesn't really matter, dude. Matter. Do I thought she was, she wants I was, I thought she was full on retiring, though. I'm, I can't wait for her to her to go dead until for a few years, and then she has to fucking struggle, fucking drop the, the <laughs> Twitch celebrity sex tape. I mean, get her, relevant again. I mean, her oh. career is basically already dead. She only has like eight thousand viewers. That's a lot. What the fuck are you smoking? I mean, compared to when she had like eighteen, it's basically. Oh, dead. I guess. And then, you know, then go on YouTube. 8K Max was her first stream on YouTube. I think that many people are going to be for her next? Or for, or for no. 10? I mean, it was no. all those things, though. She, like, has diversified her income so much. She's got money it, coming yeah, in. It, it doesn't matter. All these other places. Yeah, dude, she got $30 probably... bags of snacks, she, dude. She's I was going to literally... say, streaming is probably not even her main income at this yeah, point. Wait, did you say $30 bags wants, of snacks? Though. What kind of snacks is she eating, man? Yeah, if you're the a broke boy, just say so. I am a broke boy. Yeah. I can't afford the fucking cookies, snacks. the vitamin D cookies. Is that what she's eating? Boy, just say so. That's insane. Like, here, give me a link to whatever that is. I want to see what kind of cookies those are. I want those. Mmm, vitamin D cookies. Oh, Arch, I just noticed your fucking TeamSpeak avatar. What is my team speak? Uh, are you, are you a homeowner? It's <laughs> <laughs> the Goon fucking Goon Sock star, dude. <laughs> Professional homeowner here. <laughs> I noticed you don't have an avatar here. What is it? I noticed that you don't have an avatar. Yeah, I lost them all on my old computer uh, when the uh, fucking stream PC got uh, corrupted or whatever. Ah. Oh. Whatever happened. You know, it took me like two weeks or whatever to fix. I barely managed to save my uh, stream folder properly. I'm really disappointed right now. What are you disappointed in? Other than yourself. Well, I'll always disappointed myself, alright. I'm really <laughs> disappointed that fucking this fucking. Mm <laughs> hmm. Juke in me. So you do this. Be faster. Hmm. 
Oh no, I thought top tier was good. Uh, High quality I'm disappointed that fucking... I was really hoping for more out of this. Fucking... Turn from Suicide Boys' solo music's not good. Nar. I've been on it's that, just not very that, good. I've been on that champion. Champion is fire, dude. That, like, a lot of people don't like it, but I think that's just Why? because they don't like like the Midwest emo. They don't like I'm Midwest emo, dude. They I'm with fucking, it. I'm with it, dude. It's a good. It's a good project. It? It's not an album. Midwest like, emo sounds like they're project. bitching about being. Uh, my mom's got money. I'm not in a broken home. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's southern emo. <laughs> they, they, they buy me Midwest cars. emo is more like I'm growing up and I'm gonna die in the same fucking old shitty place where the graves are covered in mud and shit like that. You know? Yeah, I guess. Like, nah, white, fucking... you know, white trash, white jeep, white fucking snow. You know, shit like that. Yeah. White trash. No, it's white jeep, white snow. it's it's good. I, I like it. I like it. That. But that's probably because I like listening to like shit like the Wonder Years and stuff. It's sure because it's like the Midwest vibe, you know, and then it's just when I out. think of Midwest, though, I think of people like Lego that have more money. Than I they spent know what to the do last with. year in airports. Well, the thing, um, Lego's in the Bay. It yeah, but, he's still, but I still yeah, think yeah, of him as Midwest. Like hipsters. Of yeah, hipsters. Yeah, that's just oh, like man. a Bay thing. Ah, uh, okay. I thought that was all Midwest people. I liked them before they were cool. Patrick, 20, <laughs> 2020. Dude, Patrick, you, you know the Wonder Years? You know came out swinging by the Wonder Years? Nope. Certified bop. If you don't know it, you get to know it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, listening to Willow lately. Because I'm else? boring and answer uh, now. Well, you know, taking the, taking the crowbar to fucking cars, you know, they get scrap metal fucking... Oh, taking, you're taking your hands, the cans, to crush up the cans for, you know, aluminum metal, you know, copper tubing. Fucking I didn't shit. Fucking, that's, that's Midwest I didn't, I didn't get there, it for man. snap, but uh, we fucking scrapped all the uh, we scrapped all of our scrap metal at work the other day. Yo, oh, we got like bank. ninety bucks. It was not as much oh, as we yeah. were hoping. <laughs> ninety dollars for all that. Well, shit. so I don't know. I, I think the place <laughs> we took it to didn't give us a good value, and we could have also definitely made more money just by breaking the shit down and selling the individual parts yep. instead of just yep. bulk scrap and everything. Definitely. <laughs> But, uh, hey, at I don't least know. You're, it is you're, what it is. Yo, I get a good deal yeah. for my cans, dude. I, can, I fill up, like, like no, no, not, bags. No, no, not like that. We really should be fucking... I I really... I'm gonna start collecting cans yep. at work. Because I mean, we have so much fucking beer. Yeah, I like... Okay, so I fill up three trash bags of, like, cans. And that's, like, $25, $28. It's insane. Yeah. yeah crap, I'm gonna start collecting the cans. Because everyone just fucking throws them in the recycling bin. And all we do is we just put them in the big old recycling bin. <laughs> And then let the fucking trash people pick it up. No, That's free money, dude. Yeah. Or the or the fucking the homeless come over and fucking take your get on their grind set, yeah. you know? <laughs> can't let be the on, homeless be take, on the, can't let the be homeless on the take their money. Yeah, I was like, you gotta be on the crackhead mind grind yeah. set. I mean, they don't have homes, they don't have bills. We do. We, yeah, that's our money. Better to do. I sunk <laughs> that. Well, so the thing is, we haven't we haven't actually bought beer at oh work in like four months. We just had so much get fucking brought in. Ugh, fuck. No, we were just fucking. We were just maxing out off of it. I always hate this shit. It always takes like over an hour to fix my goddamn settlement. What? Fucking Jesus. I. Ain't happening. Hmm? Nah, it wasn't last... Jesus' fault this time. I spent like two hours. <laughs> I spent Doing like two hours testing tubes for a customer. <laughs> I mean, at least you get paid for it. Yeah, yeah, I. Uh... That's, that's the only plus. Questioning exactly how much I'm gonna bill him. Uh, I'm billing him a minimum of an hour because I put it in my in my project in my, in projects, I guess, uh, to show the equipment and the number, the sheer quantity of fucking tubes I had to test. Was this his fault that you had to test all of them, or just well, because he asked me to do it? To... Oh, okay. <laughs> so he, hey, look, he, if he, he asked for you to do it and you got yeah. paid for it, I don't see a problem. I've been your time just, uh, feels I'm wasted. Tired. That's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> that part sucks, but I mean, it was worth doing because he was hoping that in this giant bag of tubes that he'd go like, hey, if there's enough of these, uh, if there's a, a mat enough EL34 right. that will match up, uh, I'd like to swap those in. So, okay, well, we're gonna have to test those, but he wants everything else tested too, so. Uh, the only thing, so I gave him the fucking, the, the, the full bore treatment here. Uh, 
far as the nice tubes go. There, there's some tubes that just don't fucking match with anything. So those are those are all orphans, and I'm leaving them just with the basic. But they aren't burned out test. Yeah, buddy, get fucked. T95, suck my cock. But uh. <laughs> But in this case, we got some like pairs and a couple quads, and those things need to be all fucking matched up. Which means uh, I pull out the goddamn label printing software. The tubes go into an emissions test. Which means which test? <laughs> they get tested for short, grid leakage, and that's not going to make anything explode. And then after that, it gets transferred over to the big boy, my military surplus tube. Oh yeah, the one you got fire, right? like last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right now, and that's also connected to a digital multimeter, so I can measure more parameters during the testing process. And then those numbers all get punched into the label making software, so I can stick a little label on the tube to see what it's doing for. As long as it's a built in leak stand. And then every five minutes, someone shouts for me or the dog wants something. Oh, shit, did I just give the same one? Ah, fuck. Shoo! Just wasted a medicine on one of them who was standing next to the other one. <laughs> We're at Wombat the Cat. Fucking beamed by something, dude. Most lethal fucking AA player ever, dude. Shit. I don't know which one you are. Like cruising at like a, a fucking kilometer up, fucking going like 600k an hour. This fucking dude just fucking pilot snipes me with an M42 or with an <laughs> M81A1. I was like, God damn, that guy means business with a beast. You have been summoned, boy, to Valhalla. <laughs> Shiny and chrome. Also... Come here, you big baby. Oh yeah, remember how it was at almost 70,000 a second ago? Getting all the medicine to fix these fuckers costs uh, 40 of that. It's about. There it is. I'm the idiot that thinks that my pals are going to help me. <laughs> Lambo, stop praying to your cult. What's that cultist lamb game? Is it like a lamb of God or something? Yep. Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb, that was it. The Lamb Balls in this game sometimes remind me of that game. 
Aw, oh, you motherfucker, dude. Cortana, I am ready. I have my team of, uh, shit, I don't have any balls. Okay, I'm not ready. I'm about to go conquer the Firelands. <laughs> Got scouting on this tank. That's cool. Oh, I found out something interesting. What? what? It turns out that uh, having uh, requesting client uh, tenants to have the carpets professionally cleaned and moving out of a flat is actually illegal. In New Zealand. It's unenforceable. Testing if the carpet. Oh, were they trying to make you do it? Yeah. Or were they trying to make you clean them? How would you even test for that? No, not testing. Ha in, having it in the claws. Oh, okay. Okay, you mean that you have to have the carpets. Yeah. No, can can. What do you mean testing? What? what? Sorry, I misheard can... you in the first place. Can you say that again? What was what was Bob? Having the carpets professionally cleaned mm -hmm. in your tenancy clause in your in your contract. Yeah. Is unenforceable. You cannot actually require someone to do it. Just that yeah, it's clean. Yeah. Yeah. The the wording is. Like reasonably clean. Forcing you to yeah, go get it professionally done. I don't know. Steam cleaners are pretty cheap here. You can get them at your local grocery stores and rent them. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm not gonna fucking spend. But I was gonna say, but if you don't have to, yeah, that's awesome. You're just so fast. I'm so proud of you, little fuck man. Fuck, my teammate Jay out, dude. What the fuck? Fucking pussy. What? No! Oh, our boy's depressed. Okay. Okay. Shit. We'll strike you down. Well, that's funny. She went and went. She went and laid down. What did she hear you say? You were gonna strike her down. I was muttering. She was poking at things. She was poking at things. I was muttering to myself, and the next thing I know, she walks over and lays down on her bed. I'm not gonna look that gift horse particularly closely in the mouth. Okay, so we should be good on food now. They're saying he will come back because of the food. Um, volcano we go. Okay, let's get this giant crackly bag away from the mic. There we go. Oh wait, I forgot to bring. <laughs> this is a uh, same customer where I installed the knock to a fan on his uh, amp. <laughs> wait, a PC fan, really? <laughs> well, yeah. It, well, it has a it has a 12 volt cooling fan, and the bushings on it had failed, and he wanted a nice quiet fan, and uh, so cool. he dropped it off. He dropped off this knock to a fan to go with it. That's awesome. So I worked up the pin out because it was a four pin fan, and this thing doesn't have speed control on it, so. It's now it's wired up like a thumb fan. Yep, maxed. Yep, that'll but last it's still a couple way quieter. years easily. Yeah. <laughs> the pushing quality is much higher. I mean, like I, I said, I always run my fans at max, and like if one fails, I just fucking pay for a new one, and none have ever yeah. failed me. So. Well, I mean, yeah. if I was going to go real fancy, I probably would have picked out an industrial one with a magnetostatic bearing. Yeah. But uh, that's where that's where they levit nerd. where it levitates <laughs> on the magnetic field. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, right. knock to a fan. A fine choice. Yeah, I use my Corsair ones. Corsair feels like they would uh, cut your fingers off if you're not careful. In a good way. Another egg. Mm -hmm.
Nice, more medical supplies for me. I'm honestly, um, I'm honestly thinking to myself oh. about how much am I actually going to bill for these two? Because I think what, one hour feels like it's not enough. Um, well, how long did it take? Well, the thing is, I got interrupted a couple times partway through, but yeah, 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 pretty but sure count that total, total time was about two hours. Now, if I take out all the bits and pieces where I was interrupted, I think it's close to an hour and a half. Yeah, just uh, round up so, the two. So Still I'll took probably, you two. Well, I'll just make sure I appropriately pat, uh, adjust the bill. I was going to say, you, you always round it make them pay you fairly, and it's your money. <laughs> You deserve he's a good, it. He's, he's a good customer. Um, yeah, yeah, but I'm I'll sure he's not going to gonna jip you on an hour. Yeah. He's not going to be like, that piece of shit charged you for two oh, hours. Oh, no, no, no. I don't mean that. <laughs> I just mean that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the bill in totality and then decide whether or not I feel happy with the number. <laughs> I <laughs> suppose. I've got, because I've got the other work I've done already on the hour. I'm just saying. Mind you, some that's been pretty light respect. work, so it should be okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm sitting there going, my, to re reminding myself, my time is worth money. Yeah, this is my even time the time when you're interrupted. Money. That's like going on a lunch break. I, you get paid for your lunch break. I don't. I don't get paid for my lunch breaks. I don't build yes, like us do. when I'm on lunch. <laughs> you do now. I'm now your manager. You get paid for everything. Oh, you nay, I don't have advanced. I've already, I've already got, got I've already got a crusty yeah. guy that Damn used it. to live in Florida um, yeah. telling telling me I don't bill people enough money. Yeah, that's me. And your dad. Yeah, that's what I said. I already got. One. I'm your space dad. <laughs> Back to the first area, then we get food, then we, then we take it to base. Oh my god. You wanna try speaking into the microphone? Sorry, I'm mumbling to myself, because I was like, how much does it cost to build a new PAL box? Eight wood, like, six stone? Three stone. I was muttering, old muttering Miller. What? I will say there is something kind of satisfying about seeing all those tubes neatly labeled. I am G on a BRB for a second. I shall be AFK in my bed. Okay. Sorry, got the three-letter nice disease. The three letters, sees what the fuck's that? You're speaking <laughs> all in three letters. Oh. Yep. Yep. I'm just like Link. Ah, cool. All the berries are back. Oh, Pat, did I tell you I finished that Doom video? Uh, when you guys sent to the house. And when I finished it, it still didn't make much more sense than when it started. But it seemed fun. And the biggest things I noticed was how interesting the fucking tech was. Where some nerd figured out how to do things that no one else was able to do. That was cool. What was it called? My house? Dot wad. Yeah. Big ass wad. Hey, you. Take a look at my wad. <laughs> Not in the eye, not in the eye. <laughs> oh, you, remember, you remember loads of money? No. <laughs> yep. Sounds familiar, but I don't remember. What's that spell? Loads of money! You guys wanna hear the most fucking... Polar opposite shit ever? <sighs> it's, uh, it's Harry Enfield. Yeah, doing up the house. There you go. Hmm? What? You guys want to hear the most polar opposite shit ever? Send me your favorite song from the Suicide Boys album. I'm gonna listen to them while I crochet later. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it's a grandma too. No, nah, dude. It's just a fucking chick that I'm fucking telling with lately. 
Oh fuck, she's hilarious. She's Actually, oh uh, dude, person. just fuck already. Holy shit! I know we had dude, this conversation I mean, earlier, like... but come on, man, just do it. Dude, I Jesus mean, Christ. like, no, long... dude. Dude, play the long con. Come on. I you mean, the long, long con. I mean, you know, if what will be will be, what has been has been, and what is is right. You know, it, what is whatever. I'm trying to say, but yeah. <laughs> It, it's whatever, you know, it's, it, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. He ain't pushing the matter. I'm just saying, in a year's time, it's gonna be a thing. Maybe. Who knows? Just grow that hair back If a he bit, plays good to go. <laughs> slick his hair back. No, don't slick it back. I said grow oh, it back. Dude, I, <laughs> I fucking, said slick I it back. I'm like, fucking, yeah. Pronounce that with his peak. No, <laughs> I will look like Dracula flow if I do that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It legitimately when he said slick. look like Dracula flow. That's if why I, I thought he said Patrick. slick it back. I'm, I was just thinking Dracula in my head. I was like, ugh. <laughs> I would look like fucking Dracula flow if I do that, dude. You're gonna have the, the Adam Sandler fucking uncut gems fucking. Yeah, <laughs> no, you know, it's gonna be worse than that. I mean, she did also just yell at me to stop DMing her on Instagram and just text her. <laughs> oh, that is serious. That's a relationship. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, dude. Even when I was with my girlfriend, we were using Instagram. Damn. Who the, fuck, really hang like... on, who the fuck texts these days? Apparently I mean, her. Oh, that's I crazy. Know. Oh, fuck. I could have deleted all the pictures of salads I sent earlier. Fuck. Salads. My god. Well, I mean, she you got wanted a fucking game. salad from the store when I was fucking there. Salad things, dude. I was you like, I don't know. I brought you the she didn't, no. she didn't want one anything. Like, she you fucking... Went she went through all the effort of fucking like, Oh yeah, can you send me, like, what? give me a salad on there. What kind of salad do you want? They got like five. Oh, just send me pictures of them. <laughs> send me pictures. You, know you want to just buy me a protein shake instead? You know what that means? She's an easy, uh, easy person to be with right there. I it's swear like, you know what? I don't actually want the salad. Just fucking take a picture of it so I can feel good. I swear to God, That's dude. Solid fucking human. Women. Dude, Hate he's women. living with her and he's still Hate hates Fuck, dude. It's, it's a lot easier already. just talking to a fucking trans dude that, that's turned into a woman. It's a lot easier being homies with them than a fucking actual woman. <laughs> I was like, where's he going with this one? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, being being with guys is the easiest thing because yeah, like, soup yeah, does just, love his. The conversations boys. are exactly the same. So that's the thing. Like, if you want to fuck, you're just they're just like want to fuck. <laughs> the only thing that's bad is like you smell like balls when you're done fucking, right? Because you know, get well, sweaty yeah, down yeah, there. The balls out. So go take yeah, a shower. Women, oh, fucking... women smell good, but they take a <laughs> fucking long time to get used to. You know what I you know what I did or you guys want to know what I fucking told my coworkers that blew their fucking minds like they legit could not fucking believe it. What? The government of Canada will pay for a boob drop for a male to female transition after legal sex change has been filed. Good yeah, use of tax money. Yeah, you know what? That's Canadian cool. Yeah. I mean that makes that makes sense. It fucking it fucking blew my coworkers' fucking minds today. Well, it's a, re it, it's a recognized part of treatment for gender dysphoria, so makes sense. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, our insurance company do that, too. It's just a government. It's the same thing. <gasps> oh, that fucking bomb. I just fucking juke that bullshit. God damn, I'm gonna fucking die now, dude. I don't know about bomb surgery, because that's a lot. But... About getting your dick cut off? You might need to pay for the uh, pocket here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. The, oh, facial, the facial feminization surgeries too? I think that's probably... That I mean, really most common. people don't even have to do that. They just take uh, the estrogen or whatever and it kind of tops their facial features. Damn it. Bone density drops, drops, muscle strength yep. drops. Yeah, you certain things drop, it's but, they, talk about but they win you genetically in other ways, so... You, 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 you just you start turning bitch. You have sports and so on, yeah. and you have to... Turn bitch going, like Do you have general. any fucking idea what hormone replacement yeah. is to a person? Yeah, hormone therapy will like, really change everything you have about this you. woman, she's like, I used to be really strong. I'm not anymore. It all fuck, like, it all fucking disappeared, like, until, overnight. Until... All the muscles drops. Until the, this until the fucking... biogenetical male starts taking performance enhancing drugs like all athletes do, all of a sudden you're way stronger than the other females. Crazy, right? Oh, <laughs> I fucking... So, all of this, um, came up because, what, like, my, uh, one of my coworkers was like, he came over, he's like, Yo, is Claire fucking growing boobs? 
<laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. That's what that's what that's estrogen winning to an MF. Yeah. That's HRT. Like, <laughs> that's that's HRT, HRT, homie. No, it's far from HRT. I was like, yeah, that's, that's what taking estrogen. He's like, no, dude. The only We're stuck in his I ass. I know about fucking growing boobs, or growing boobs from steroids from uh. Fuck, I can't remember what fucking movie it was. It was the one where the like, liar, liar. That's what it was. What? I don't remember like, there being therapy in Liar Liar, to be honest. I think you're thinking about Fight Club. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Yeah, with Bitch Tits. And, and, oh, and, and no, Bitch Tits. Which was, uh, he didn't, wasn't he Meatloaf? <laughs> yeah, played by Meatloaf. Yeah, it was Meatloaf. <laughs> we, His name is Robert Paulson. About um, you mean, uh, liar, you mean, liar. yeah, in death he gets Israel the name. Robert, Paul, fuck. Robert Paulson's uh, character, he, he, if I recall correctly, he, uh, he took uh, he got he, he, ball he, cancer. He, he, yeah, he, his, his balls nuts. got damaged because of that, and then he, uh, yeah, then it, like the fucking pendulum swung hardcore on his hormones because of how out of whack they went. Yeah, um, yeah. You mean you mean like Israel out of I love I loved his character though. He's so great. Of course, he's just crying from his like head use. And, just the part know. where he's crying and holding uh, uh what's his nuts, uh, fuck. The dude, oh, nay. The dude who was a Brad Pitt. He was crying, holding him in his Excuse chest. Excuse me. And they, like, were, they were both Brad Pitt. Well, they were both actually, uh, what's his nuts in the Hulk? <laughs> yeah. I forget his name. Graham Norton. Yeah, there it is. Grant Norton. It's like, it's in my brain, but I just Graham? don't remember. That one. I don't know. Whatever his name is. Nor Ed Norton. Mr. Norton. Graham Norton is the host of a TV show. On yes, he's a British man. Uh, yeah, Ed Norton. Really disgusting. Bloody disgusting. Horrible British, British man. No. Yep. Grand Norton just sucks. Mm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> anyway, Ed Norton. The uh, least yep. salty uh, fucking New Zealander. It's funny, because of course, it yeah. was a book originally. Uh, yeah. And as some people said, like, it's one of the few times when a movie adaptation works better, because it, as they point out, um, like the author of the book actually liked the, the film adaptation. Oh, dude, in the film too, you can see in the beginning bits of Brad Pitt appearing, like like in certain frames. It, I thought it was all, crazy as a kid. All the weird, all the weird little visual, yeah. all the little visual hints that something is wrong and something isn't quite yeah. what it seems. It's so much easier and so much better, and it works so much better in the format to sneak that in visually than you ever than you could do in the book. Yeah, because the book wouldn't help you. And they point yeah. out like when you're reading the book, it's also kind of hard to tell who's saying what line. Yeah. Um, which, on, in some ways, is kind of fitting, but in other ways, makes it a little harder. <laughs> yeah. When I was, uh, I, I think I was like 11 when I first watched it, or 13, somewhere in there, I was seeing the, you know, the uh, injected uh, Brad Pitt into, like, a frame of the film during the beginning. Like, you, you wouldn't notice it unless you're paying attention. But, like, there's a scene in the first, like, two minutes where he's by the printer, and that fucked me up for a long time, because I was like, what the fuck? The dude was just there, and then he wasn't. <laughs> like, my mom never even noticed. I was like, how the hell did you not notice that? It was so obvious. Yeah. And they got the sweet song out of it, too. Which one? Yeah. Huh. That was my favorite movie. Wow. Crazy. Makes you think, man. Makes you think. That fucking guy. Here's the thing, guys. Is he fucking Sean? Working on his fucking. Working on someone's truck? Bent over like a fucking fruit? <laughs> what? Did you see that shit? I think yeah, I saw that. That was about. fucking funny, dude. Dude, honestly. Honestly, get you a girl that looks at you the way Nina looks at Sean. Honestly. Yeah. Holy wow. shit. Yeah, they're both fighting together. God, these fucking goobers, dude. I swear to God. Goomers. <laughs> the boys in the group chat are going crazy today. I 
I'd pull up that map from yesterday so I can actually see where the fuck I'm trying to go. One of our fucking, one of our fucking customers got arrested. No. The fucking, the fucking. Is this the drug dealer one? Uh, one of them, yeah. One uh, of yeah, them. He, yeah, he got arrested at the fucking at the airport when he tried coming back into Canada after fucking three phase, not three phase. after magically disappearing from Canada prior to being served with an arrest warrant. Wait, is this the fucking dude who's got the money? No, this dude, is not. This shit? is not. This is not crazy rich Asian. This is a white guy. This is, uh, I've never talked about him on TeamSpeak, because I don't really ever deal with him. Uh, oh, so but it's this is not the... Buddy who's like, does all the crazy shit and like, posts Oh, no, Asian. no, that guy, no, 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 it's not, it's not, not hey. crazy, crazy rich Asian fucking, oh, he, wow. like, yeah. own, like owns like... Netflix production companies and shit. Must be that's, nice. that's clean money. The dude who got arrested for drugs already? No, no, that guy, no, this guy, he owned a, uh, Air quotes logistics company. Oh hell! He owned a uh, a logistics company, and uh, I kid you not, the only interaction I ever had with him was uh, I overheard him talking on his phone. Please count. Uh, please double count those because those are thirties. Thirty dollar bills? No, like 30, 30 milligram pills. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mood stabilizers. <laughs> yep. I feel like no matter how advanced my uh, sphere game gets, like everything can just reject them. Like here, how, how low am I now? I've used over 12 already. And like most of them have just been knocked away. Or it's like a 4% chance to catch. When do I start winning, Cortana? When do I stop getting 4% catch chances? <laughs> oh, there it is. That's a big lake of fire. What, uh, what balls are you using, dude? Uh, the Gigas. The yellow ones. It hurts my feelings. Like, I'm almost to the hypers. I think that's one level from now. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I can get hypers now. Ha 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 ha! Sphere assembly. Because I forgot I leveled up. Ceiling lamp, bathroom set. Oh, hey, Cortana, are you going to put toilets in your, in your place or are we going to shit in holes? <laughs> Shit, I didn't bring my flying mount. Um, yeah, high ground it is. Mm. I don't know what an Amex 50 Fosh is, but that thing fucking, that thing's shooting hot loads, dude. Yeah, it's got big boy rounds and it's a uh, high rate of fire. That like, thing, what, 30, thing made a big bills, pop when it shot something. Oh! Wait, did you say you can run through uh, lava with the fire-resistant metal armor? Cortana. Yes, yeah, she's still AFK. Well, let's see. Oh, I can! I'm fire-resistant enough to run through the lava. I'm so good. <laughs> Why didn't Frodo have flame resistant armor? What a dummy. He did have flame resistant armor. It's just that the armor was flame resistant and he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I want it. This is level 45. Let's hear it. <gasps> Oh, 
Oh fuck. Shit. Yeah. Fight Anubis. Fight for daddy. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah. Yeah. Wish there was a way to like grind up your old spears to uh, use the supplies to make new ones. Wait. Oh, the assembly line, okay. the most effective Tiger 2 tanks that ever existed. What are? Including in the real world? <laughs> Especially the real world. <laughs> Disney song stuck in my head. Happily ever yes. after. Please, punk igni. Never heard of it. Yes. Alright, who would have thought we uh, we failed hardcore when we ran up against a T95? Well, whose fault is that? Uh, the fact that the thing is, is a fucking object. Is that an iguana in a hoodie? Oh, <laughs> he appeared found the fucking... It's an iguana in a hoodie. Found the yeah. Marshall Mathers, the fucking iguana, dude. <laughs> I can see him in 8 Mile. Oh, they actually move out of your sight when you're trying to, like, aim and shoot. That's cool. That's six cents to you. Sense to detect nearby dungeons. Oh, that's cool. It's a fun gym. God damn it. Now that oh, you said that, Arch, I can't you get it out of my head. You fucking fool, dude. Fucking. Every oh, time I look at him, I'm just like, Marshall Matters. My name is. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> my name is. Ha 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 ha, you fucking idiot. I mean, there's Mesa. There's Mesa back No, in, in game, there's an iguana wearing a hoodie 3D, and it looks like Eminem. And then ever since Arch said it, now I can't not think about it. 
I'm like, fucking A. <laughs> Make the this... boxes at the top are about the right size for 120. That's what I was about to say before they started talking about Pokemon. Your mom's a Pokemon. Ew. But That's yeah, cool. uh... Out of range. So much fucking testing. Yeah, because all, all of the big tubes have to be tested twice. Mm. They all go through the small machine. A for Thoroughly checked over. I only see one match pair, or is there supposed to be more? Uh, well, there's there's the uh, two that are in the box. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. uh, the Electro Harmonic DL34. The two yeah, boxes the are one taped together. The, taped together. Yeah. Um, the four next to it are reasonably close matches. All right. Um, and then some of the other ones further down. Uh, like a lot of these are actually reasonably close to each other. Uh, the ones that have stickers on them are probably. Probably close enough for government work. Put it that way. Government. Uh, in either quads or a couple of them are actually just uh, actually yeah. pairs. Yep. Uh, yeah. you back, man. Yeah. 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 Those Mesa Six L Sixes on the bottom row on the left that are labeled with matching tags. Those are, <laughs> uh, you could probably run them gang together, but really they're actually a little bit slightly different from each other. So you're better off with two pairs. And then there's a couple, there's a few orphans there on the left, where they don't match anything. Which is sorry. why they don't have a tag on, because I'm not gonna, I don't have any pair, pair to match them with, so I'm not gonna bother running them through the TV stuff. I'm gonna play current. Oh, game. yo, how, okay, how good was the fucking prequel meme that I sent you guys earlier today? Huh? A barely, barely legal Anakin, and it's just fucking Padme. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? That one was so Pretty good, dude. Fucking straight predatory activities. <laughs> I love all those memes where it's just like Padme looking at Anakin and he's like, you know, 11, she's like 16, she's like, I'm gonna hit that. <laughs> he was 9 and she was 14. I mean, it's still not a big you age You gotta gap. trade 30 IP points for extra MMA skills. But still. Hey man. Yo, Swagums, you come in fucking Seattle for fucking no, UFC? It's easy, to re it's easy to remember, it's in the song. Yeah, but I haven't heard that song forever. Uh, fucking, so apparently there's UFC in June. Uh, Shavkat versus fucking Colby Covington, apparently. Allegedly. Apparently, allegedly. Nah, dude. Colby gets, he's not taking the hell call the cops before he takes that shit. Dude, <laughs> Colby, Colby gets fucking sent to a fucking grave, dude. Colby's dead, isn't insane. he? Insane. Oh, you're talking about a different Kobe. A Colby. Colby. Oh, okay. Colby, Colby, Colby Covington. Kobe. Like Colby okay. cheese, yeah. You're fucking cheese. <laughs> Damn it, I got ore somewhere else. Again. That's crazy. That's sanctioned murder crazy. on TV. Actual sanctioned murder on fucking... Yep. In Seattle, of all fucking places, too. Yeah, they usually don't have shit in Seattle either. It's kind of crazy. I know, right? They've never, they've never had like a like a like a big fight, like a exactly. title fight, anything really. And they had one in fucking Salt Lake City before Seattle. It's crazy. Salty city. I wonder why. I wonder what's wrong in Seattle. If you're back and you know it, clap huh. your hands. You know, it didn't occur to me that the place to get glass sheets for Clean making coated glass foot photos is to just buy it from a company that sells plastic Using picture sense. frames. Wait, Shanghai GP3 is available in 20 by 24 inch? What? Holy shit! When you want to do a print for an album, you have to do a reduction. Hey, fuck. Aw. It's a failure. <laughs> uh, fuck, these fucking goobers, dude. I swear to god. What goobers?
need dragon life. I need his military fucking ID so I can get Arcteric Sleep. So you can do what? You can buy Arcteric Sleep. Yeah, I mean, I got GovX. Is that where you're trying to buy it from? You don't... You don't need Arcteric Sleep. Like, mill to buy Arcteric Sleep. Just buy the seconds. The seconds? Yeah, buy from Factory Seconds, bro. You can buy Factory Seconds of Arcteric? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bought one of the Arteryx uh, jackets a while back, didn't I? I think, so. I think I did. I needed a good rain jacket, so I bought the one that uh, Garrett Thumb was rocking. I, I actually I actually like when companies yeah, have clean. Uh, factory seconds, because it tells me that they actually have high enough standards that, they're, that they won't sell something that has problems. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, Fender uh, guitars used to sell factory, they used to blow factory seconds out the door. Um, and nowadays they just sell them. <laughs> Warts and all. <sighs> or they throw them away. One of the two. Wait, I'm actually cold? That's a first. Wow, TransAsia Airlines Flight 235. People survived that? Like, some of them did? Mm -mm. Which one was that one? Uh, it's one oh, where I've went seen this one on. Uh, I've survived. seen this one on fucking Mayday. And the alligators came. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was a domestic flight uh, in Taiwan. Uh, it was a ten it was an ATR seventy two six hundred, uh, which is like a high wing <sighs> turboprop, twin turboprop. Is airplane. there enough Taiwan to domestic? Uh, Apparently, it's right. uh. It's from Taipei to Kinmen, so, uh, uh, <laughs> oh sure, Kinmen's not marked on the map, what the fuck, I think it's on the, yep. oh, I see, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, over to the mainland, I guess. And then is uh, is is on is on the main one. Mm. If you're happy, you know it. Clap your hands. Mm. 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 Anyway, so uh, two minutes after takeoff, the pilot reported an engine failure. After climbing to a maximum altitude of 1,600 feet, the other engine, still operating normally, was mistakenly shut down. Oh, I fucking... Damn. That's dark. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh... You had a good one, and you went, nah, it's probably not working, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, shortly after takeoff, a fault in the auto feather unit of number two caused the automatic engine take takeoff power control system to auto, auto feather the engine. The flight crew misdiagnosed the problem and shut down the still-functioning number one engine. The aircraft... Yeah. Oh, um... Last last communication to the ATC was Mayday Mayday engine flame out. Like they completely misunderstood what was happening, and of course in the t typical of a, a stall condition, uh, one wing stalled first, so it went oh, sideways yeah, so down. Yeah, went sideways. Yeah. And uh, because of dash cam technology existing at the time, and that it landed right next to a viaduct, we have this image. Oh wait, people survived that? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, Holy oh, fuck! Shit. 15 of the 58 on board survived. I, which I hope I would be one of the 15. 15 more people than I thought would have survived. Yeah. They must have been on the right side of the aircraft. The plus side not slamming into the ground first. And probably not where the fucking wing it, is. Uh, it uh, uh, landed upside... It basically landed upside down in the water and busted into two pieces. The ultimate belly flop contest. <laughs> And again, pretty, pretty uh, experienced pilots in general. Uh, although a very experienced pilot uh, on the ATR-72 um, mm. paired off with someone with just 250 hours in the ATR-72. Uh, the captain was actually the one with fewer hours. I mean, what a loser! <laughs> I mean, you've seen the video, right? Uh, the video of that happening, or the episode of Mayday? The video of it happening. <laughs> 
I think I did years ago, yeah. It was. The still image looks familiar. Oh, here it comes. Did I actually clip the taxi? That's in front of the camera. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm trying to explain. It. So what happened? To, what happened to you? Uh, well, I got hit by a plane. <laughs> Imagine being that guy, you're driving along the highway and you suddenly take a plane to the face and you die. Let's explain the afterlife. So what got you? <laughs> oh yeah, I caught a plane while driving. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave through that. I'll probably be one of the coolest stories. Cool? Weird choice of words. I would want to be the one that catches the meteorite. You know, the, the impossible meteorite. That would hit me in the house, yeah. I think you're in your house having a good time, like that couple in uh, Red Dead. And it fucking hit their kitchen table and they both yeah, died. Mayday, the, I think Mayday they covered this in in uh, their compilation of, of heat of the and moment decisions. mistakes. <laughs> yes. Episode, scene 3, episode 1, heat of the moment. Dashcam captures the horrible crash of a Taiwanese airliner and those diving oh, dude. into a river. You guys know what I found out about the guy that owns the company I work for today? What? The boy's also a criminal? No, he's a, he's actually a very nice old like older white guy. He's he's fucking hilarious. I mean, you know, okay, sorry, white collar criminal, my bad. White. Hey, yeah, white collar <laughs> criminal. Um, no, he came in he came in to get a battery for his motorcycle, and I was like, oh, you're already riding? And he's like, oh no, this is the one that I keep down in California. I was just like, there's a power surge at the house or something. And the, the battery charger turned itself off, and no one was there to click the reset button, so battery's dead. I'm like, oh, okay, you going down? Uh, you going down this weekend? He's like, yeah, I'm flying myself out. Oh, you have a plane? It's like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so like, when you ask him for a ride, how much money do you make now? Uh, <laughs> not. Like our own, so yeah, this well, okay, so a plane. I don't no, know what kind of plane he owns, money. but Probably like, it's one that he flies on his own. Yeah. Dude, you know Obviously not. Will sub? Yeah, not expen or not cheap, but potentially not mondo expensive. It's like a 152. He takes around the place. I, I imagine it's probably like a Cessna or something like that. <sighs> but I guarantee you, it's got to be Hugo Boss Orange. <laughs> this guy doesn't own anything if it's not Hugo Boss Orange. <laughs> Is that how he describes it? What the fuck is this? Are these AI? But yeah, seeing seen the uh, the CVR the CVR log is a little ouch. Like C CVR up against the data. Uh, the, the oh, data you log. Know, fucked up now, AA Ron. Showing what controls have been actuated and so on. Mm -hmm. Like okay, uh, right engine failure alert. Crew reduces power to left engine. Okay. Now, I could see you wanting to do that if you want to avoid a bit of a torque reaction. Crew mentions retracting left engine. Retract throttle and shuts off. Alright, then they start doing the engine shutdown checklist. Crew reduces power to the left engine again. Pullback number one on the CVR. Crew mentions the right engine stall. Okay, now number two engine flame out confirmed. Like, so they, the, the comparison... So, yeah, reality and and what the the picture of the uh, of, of what was going on in the aircraft started to become separated in the head of the pilot for mm. what was going on. Mm. Lost situational the awareness. They were no. Yeah, they, the the plane started getting ahead of them. Uh, stall warning sounds. Stall warning. Stick shaker activates. Left engine is feathered and shut down. I'm Someone in the cockpit. Flowers. As number one, stall warning sounds for the third time. Stick shaker activates again. Crew cuts power to left engine. Again, the right engine is the one that had the failure alert. 
Yeah. Yeah. Left engine feathered and shut down. Captain goes number one. Stall warning again. Cut, cut power to left engine. Stall warning. Stall warning. Crew declares, declares engine flame out. Now, uh, and then we get to here. Yeah, two minutes, 50, yeah, two, fifty-four and nine sec seconds, and you hear restart the engine from the captain. Stall warning sounds for the seventh time. Stick shaker activates for the sixth. Left engine restarted. The stick shaker um, to make sure they're awake. It, it, no, it's, it's, the, it's a it's a physical it's a physical warning that you're about to enter stall. Yeah, it's how, so it's it's how modern, but it modern aircraft like, don't okay. have yeah. So modern aircraft don't have physical linkages to the control services, so you don't actually feel the stall necessarily like you would yeah. in a smaller manual aircraft. Yeah, as, is... as, the, as the air starts fluttering on the control surfaces, you you might feel that in your hand. So the natural inclination was to make a stall warning that shakes the stick. That's cool. Okay. Uh, now I know. So they call to restart the engine. 14, uh, 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 11 seconds later, left engines restarted. <laughs> Master warning. Unidentified sound. Ground proximity warns pull up. CPR ends four seconds later. Damn. Oh, sorry. Within 16 seconds. Sorry. Look at the minutes column. So you know, I want to see, take a look at like how 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 this all went fucking wrong. So fast. The master caution alarm, the master warning for right engine failure, and the engine itself hadn't actually failed. It was just the auto feather system had fucked up. But they were in the middle of a critical flight portion. They were in the middle of their take. They they were just doing their first their their takeoff. They get the engine alert. That's 52 minutes and 38 seconds. By 52, 4 minutes and 36 seconds, they were in the water. Damn. Oh, this is good. I'm yeah, top here on Tunisia. Flying can be scary. Well, I mean, as they say, these are these sorts of things where uh, there's a reason why pilots will spend so much so much time uh, having accidents like this broken down and explained and analyzed because you you have to you don't want to you repeat. have to learn from someone else's mistake or you don't learn at all. Very true. Alright, Blanco Lirio, Boeing 737 MAX 7 and 10 certification has been halted. Again? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Boeing's having a fun day, aren't they? Wait, how is this criminal activity by collecting these beautiful flowers? Oh. Are you, a, uh, are you in a are you in a fucking sanctuary? Are you trespassing? I don't know. I'm on the alien island thing. Yeah, you're sanctuary. fucking trespassing. Well, I need the flowers so they could. Suck you my... should you should have a thing saying illegal activity while yeah, you're there. That's why I said it started saying yeah. that criminal activity. Yeah, just the fucking way. kite them into the fucking one of the towers and then fucking use them to kill the boss. No one's attacking me. 3D, I yep. found you a delivery vehicle for winter. Okay. Need twenty. So I need Nice. Now by eight. This will eventually go up to twenty k. Nope. No, you. Louisiana. Okay, let's see if nah. I get the list of people who are pissed 80K. off about that uh, who are putting pressure on Boeing. Take a look here. Whistleblowers, pilots, unions, aviation safety advocates, and state everybody. senators. Oh, Tammy Duckworth. Hey, Tammy Duckworth was was leaning on Boeing. Walk out of the way, dude. The because she's the chairman of the Aviation Safety Subcommittee. Nice. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. I okay. love things that make sense. Not when you have like the Department of Education is like a bunch of retards, or the Department of Health is like a bunch of fat slobs. But this makes perfect amount of sense. This island's fucking. <clears throat> Even though it wasn't her fault that she lost her leg. Z Who? Tammy. What happened? I never heard the story. She, she was, she a was combat, shot she, down. Yeah, she she's a she was an army helicopter pilot. Oh, she's shot that the, girl. She lost, yeah, heard. lost her lost her legs in combat. Yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. Lost in Afghanistan. 
yeah, yeah she she was the I she think. was the one who uh, I think she said something when 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 Trump was still in office and he was pissing and moaning about something that she, that, uh, she did and he's like I, and she said something along the lines of like oh I won't be I won't I won't be uh, I won't be lect I won't be lectured on, on duty by a by a two time deferral no <laughs> lost it <clears throat> lost it during the Iraq invasion the Black Hawk went down yeah oh random infantry guy just spawned out of nowhere oh, fuck yeah. you. Die. Four more army pilot. Be like on your the, injuries the... are not service related. The oh, wait, they're you immortal? were born without legs, not our fault. <laughs> wait, are the infantry guys immortal here? On the island? For trespassing? Fuck. No, dude. That's wow, crazy. that, that wanted looks just like in. Uh, nine, nine, nine. I hate that I'm trying oh, my hardest to fucking lose these games and I'm just not. It's so annoying. What? What game? What game? In in arena, I'm trying my hardest to like lose rating, but I fucking can't. Why? Why? You trying to smurf in Tarkov Arena? Because like the higher rating you get, like the more fucking like Altons you run into, and just people trying way too hard. You know <gasps> what I mean? Heard Arena wasn't even good. Either you have a shit kit or you have the good kit. It was just like fuck. It's rock man. paper scissors like that. Like, I'm literally grouping these games and I'm still winning in the zone. Ah, that's why Boeing is willingly delaying this, but it's because of the, it, it's because of the, um, remember how they were trying to get an exception for the, their, their, uh, icing, anti-icing system on the engine? Okay, well, this they might got, be an They got game. denied. These guys are greased. Apparently the FAA was just like, we're not saying yes to that when you keep fucking up. <laughs> You're sitting there oiled up like Dana White. So here's the problem. Oh, him up. The, oh, the, the, him up. The cowling around the front of the engine. Do it. It's normally made out of metal, but on the, the well, on the Max 737 Max series, it's made of carbon fiber. Now to prevent ice buildup, they have a heating system built in. So that way it melts ice and keeps it from building up. So it, until it gets big enough that it would like break off in chunks and digest into the engine and cause problems. Problem is, is that Boeing, I'm not going to ask why, I'm not going to speculate on how fucking moronic it is. Their anti-icing system, if the icing conditions halt, if it gets warm, if it warms back up, the stops. heating system can actually damage the carbon fiber. It can actually, in theory, light it oh on fire, God. I think. <laughs> what the fuck? There's Grows. No, it sounds it's like pissing it. down outside. There's no thermostatic system. Apparently, there's no After the rain. controller. Yeah. Are you that, saying water is wet? Hot. Water is wet. Water is wet. Water is wet. Your and password is rotten. Boeing hasn't solved this problem yet, but they wanted to get, uh, they wanted to get away with at least putting, putting off having to fix it, and being able to put them out yeah. in the air while they develop a fix for it, by just putting a note to the pilots. They have to make sure they turn the, turn it off when they leave icing conditions. Which means that you have your single point of failure is the pilot remembering the anti-icing system is on and noticing the moment icing conditions come. Or otherwise, the engine cowling might light on fire. As you can imagine, the FAA right now is not particularly pleased with Boeing, and they weren't particularly convinced by this safety solution they were proposing either. <laughs> but yeah, just just turn, just never forget to turn it off, and it'll be fine. That's dumb. How As a 33-year veteran of, of a major airline, I can tell you, it's years. easy to remember to turn the engine anti-ice on. Very easy to forget to turn it off, especially during a high workload period of flight. It's incredible what Boeing has been allowed to get away with, but what's ex that's what expensive lawyers are oh, fucking steward, for. The fuck? Having to imagine having the doors fall, uh, the door fall off, the wings melt from anti-icing, and for good measure, the plane just nosedives into the ground. 10 out of 10, Boeing. Are we gonna be? <clears throat> are we gonna be buying Boeing stocks, dude? No. Yeah, one, Quite the dump. opposite. Buy Airbus stocks. Airbus, but who's gonna be? <clears throat> who's gonna be our primary manufacturer going into Buy the FAA Iranian stock. war, dude? Well, no. What I'm saying is that <laughs> the civilian airline market is gonna be moving away from 737s, I imagine, which means a big bump in Airbus sales because yeah, they're the, the only real competitor. competitor.
So what company do you invest in to invest in Airbus? Is Airbus oh, publicly Airbus. traded? Airbus. Yeah, that's what I mean. You is invest in Airbus to invest in Airbus. Well, I meant, is it publicly traded, or do you have to go through some? Well, let's take a look. Yes, it let's is find publicly out. traded. Airbus USD. is traded on the Paris Boers and Franklin Stock Exchange. 40 USD. <laughs> wow. That... It's actually... For four USD, I'll do it's pretty that. cheap actually. You know what? I'll sure? I'm looking I'll, at the I'll stock get, price. Like, it's currently 147 <laughs> euros. Maybe where you are. Actually, uh, wait, are we looking at the same Airbus? What is Airbus SE or Airbus? Yeah. Uh, Airbus, because uh, Airbus is like the E D S Y Airbus. Wait, how many fucking Airbuses are there? Yeah, there's, what the fuck? there's Airbus 37. SE, which is, I guess, the there's manufacturer. Airbus Airbus SE is the uh, like the parent company that has like all the other things. Uh, Airbus has actually hit the point where their stock value now finally exceeds its peak just before COVID. Yeah, nice. I I only have access to purchase Airbus SE or whatever Airbus SE unsponsored ADR is. See, and I only see Airbus SE, and it's uh, not even typed out the same. It's E A D S Y. It's forty dollars a share or thirty eight a share. Let me just check my little green app. Actually, no, I don't want to look it. I don't want my losses. How are you getting losses? Ooh, you it's, gotta uh, do a C number go up. Taking some hits. <laughs> well, it went for. I mean, okay, so mid December it was trading at about two sixty. I mean, I'm still. Uh, I'm it's literally trading still at up, right but now. like you know. Yeah, I don't want them. I don't want them... I'm currently at plus a dollar. I don't. I don't. Re you don't realize gains until you realize there's gains. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not I a think loss until you sell. This might Total. actually be illegal, boys. What? I said I think this might be illegal. What's illegal? Inside of trading? <laughs> well, no, that's, uh, come on. Fucking hundreds of politicians trading. do that every hour. Yeah, Kidnapping yeah. kids? What are, you, what, are you, what are you saying? What are you, what's illegal? No, that's also, hundreds of politicians do that every hour. No, I'm in a fuck. I'm in, I, I got my Yag Tiger in this fucking game and I'm yeah, top here. Like, good? there's... Like, there's regular fucking... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, like, maybe, this, maybe this is not fair. This is not fair for the other team. But I don't think they can actually it. penetrate me. Take take advantage of it. Yeah, here, I got, I got, Air, really, really. I got Airbus E-A-D-S-Y. Yeah, that's the one I see. Yeah, $37. $38 a share or whatever, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, fuck that, like, there's, you said there's just, <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> like, there's a regular, there's regular Tigers, and there's, like, uh, Panther Ds and Panther As in this game, like... Hang on, hey, what? Pat, if I send you money, will yeah. you buy shares for me? <laughs> I'm gonna buy shares, what the fuck? You said it's yeah, $12 a share, that's fucking amazing. I didn't say $12, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I swear that's Airbus SE is E-A-D-S-Y on the stock quote. Yeah, 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 but how much did you say you saw it for earlier? Really? Uh, there's an there's an, seven euros. There's an Airbus S E A I R dot P A. I should that put is... a purchase A I R dot P A. Yeah. Oh no! I should put oh, a purchase no. order in for Lockmark for four hundred and twenty dollars. Four twenty. <laughs> uh, so hang on. I don't know what year P A is. Is it raining like fuck yeah, over where you are, Pat? Uh, yes. Yeah, it is currently absolutely fucking down in the windows. Or... <laughs> anyway, right here. Well, uh, I mean, I'm I'm seeing Airbus AI AIR PA is listed as Airbus SE. PA is probably the Paris Exchange, ah. and it's 147 okay. euros. Yeah. yeah, euros. Okay, so it is cheaper in the US. So I'm assuming E A D S Y. Is <laughs> That's not how it works. I meant the one we're looking at. Because this is the one we're looking at. This is the one that's the only one showing up. Like in, uh, the witness was entering the house, so I did you all a favor and closed the windows. That's other OTC. Yeah. That's so that's the only that one is... I can trade. Yeah. Through my broker, I can also trade the one that we need. No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't see that yeah. One. Yeah, that's not that. Yeah, that, that price is not a financial exchange. OTC, that's like brokerage to brokerage. Oh, gotcha. Waste of time, boys. Waste of time. I want to buy war stocks. How hard is this? And there's... Where's my war, where's my, where's war, my war, war futures, bonds. dude? I want war, war futures. Bonds. Crude oil and Yo, defense companies. You guys getting in on the fucking betting for uh, 
If uh, Travis Kelce yeah. is gonna propose to Taylor Swift on the fucking field at the Super Bowl, nah. I'll give it uh, ten bucks saying yes. Five hundred bucks, no. Oh, Pat, did you did you uh, catch the Mayday uh, the Mayday episode where they cover the Virgin Galactic breakup? I don't really watch Mayday because I. Eh. I don't like blame you. Planes stay together. I mean, I just don't care. It's like war. <laughs> I, I, I don't blame boy. you if it's not your thing. Yeah, everyone knows that we watch if you, if you knew it was a thing, in this you know, household. Experimental flight and all that. I do recall the galactic uh, breakup. I don't know specifically what happened, or you know, I know well, it you went know, wrong. Do you remember anything about how that that thing was supposed to work on the reentry sequence? Because it had like, it had uh, like the, the hinge right? that uh, stabilizes it as it comes into the atmosphere. Yeah, stops it from spinning. Yeah, so, so, like, shit, so yeah. the boom goes full vertical, right? Mm. And that, and that, are you alive yet? That helps direct it so it belly flops into the atmosphere, right? Yeah, keeps it going slow. It keeps it. Yeah. So, there's a guys, big guys, you, you can turn you, into Spider-Man. have like a throttle bank be on a regular airliner between the two. It almost lets you the pilot and down. And okay, there's two big what? arms. One you pull down that unlocks the mechanism, and then the other actuates the mechanism. Well, the thing is, like, they'd had multiple attempts, and it was, of course, extremely expensive every time they did fly like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so and a big pro problem apparently that they had, especially in the simulator, was the sequencing for all the manual operations you have to do is extremely tight. And if you miss any of the timing, <sighs> scrub flight. Oh, Cortana is So, back. as part of, like, I, think, I guess as part of the process, they would actually unlock the tail boom early. So that way it would be ready for the very moment it was time to re re reorient. Cortana, and are you ready for your, uh... For some reason or another, the guy had a brain fart at the wrong moment when they were still under power not during not during the re-entry sequence and he pulled the release so it was under power uh i think supersonic and then the entire twin boom assembly uh, uh, unlocked and tried to raise and that's why it broke up because nice. that was not an aerodynamic shape it could handle They all exploded and died. Yeah. I I, I kind of I just kind of hope that the whiplash of the aircraft whip around like that and that they, they didn't really realize realize what the hell they did wrong. Yeah, top speed is about Mach three on that thing. Down. I gotta keep going. I don't know what's going on with that thing with the Arado 234B. There's either sweats that use that thing or it's actually like kind of overpowered. Oh my goodness. AR-234B. Bravo. Like the, the jet bomber that Germany yeah, has? Yeah, yeah, what, what do you mean? Like, there's sweats, what do you mean? Well, Whatever. at least this is definitely another loss. There's some dude in here with a fucking, uh... Riz T. Nice, dude, that's wild. And a fucking M62 drum mag fucking... FAL. So I'm educate me because I'm not aware of how it works. Like Arena's not tied to main game at all. No, not yet. Not it right. will be though. And then, so in Arena, you gain what? currency. No, not currency. But you gain like you, rep. You, you gain, uh, you gain like rating. Oh, that's you buy your right. fucking kit with rating. You buy your you buy your kit with money. So there's so it's rubles, right? So. Your, at the at the beginning, your your kits cost like in the beginning. 30k rubles to 64k to 157k rubles, right? Yep. So if you're not shit at the game, you're usually gonna be winning most of your games, right? So you're never really broke. In theory. In theory, like I have I have like five million ruble. 
Her pet. So the uh, the brain fart in this case was unlocking the feather mechanism ahead of time in preparation for when it needed to be deployed. But because the aircraft was still under like max Q, the serve the the amount of an aerodynamic force on the feathers was so high it actually overcame the servos and forced. Oh, it you motherfucker! So he didn't accidentally hit the deploy. He just hit the unlock in anticipation of having it out of the way, but that lock was the only thing holding the tail together. Imagine having a tail. I can't relate. <laughs> this, this meme posted by Gyrocopter Gang. <laughs> oh, you can't buy Airbus on Robin Hood. Boo. But you can watch it on there, so that's useless. Hmm. Someone wants to buy me some stonks and Airbus, let me know. <laughs> I'll send you cash. Start building the volcano base. Then we'll have Death Clock play at it. What the fuck just happened in the sky? Hey, uh, Sarah, what does it mean the sky suddenly turns blood red? Am I about to get fucked up? No. Yeah, he angry. Yeah, what the fuck? He's angry. God. <laughs> it looks like Mortal Kombat when they went into the fucking, uh, Elseworld or whatever it was called. place where Shao Kahn was. Everything turned like that red tint. Oh no! What more can I do? What more do you want from me? Yeah. deal with movie length advertising campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> Peak Wall Street influence on Hollywood. Hollywood. No need for product placement anymore. The movie itself is the product. Yeah, that's why we put a link in there. Next we'll be launching the serial cinematic universe with cap starting with Captain Crunch and all in the Crafton Captain Crunch Civil Crap War. Crunch. Crap and Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean did you see the the credits that listed in the title? <laughs> I did see that as well. Harry Seinfeld, Melissa McCarthy, Jim Gaffigan, and... Uh... <laughs> oh, him. I recognize his face.
Right to jail, yes. Thermal undershirt, an accessory that slightly raises cold resistance. Oh, cool. He brought this up during a stand-up currently. He and another writer came up with the with a Pop-Tart origin story that is completely made up. Hope this can be like the walk hard of movies about origin of now popular corporate product. Yeah, it's like people saw the social network and thought every major product and corporation needs its own movie. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. I'm suddenly ha I'm having a flashback. I'm having a flashback. To those dickheads that run inter that run international soccer. <laughs> FIFA. A couple Remember soccer the FIFA movies. origin story movie? Yeah. Was FIFA like, was like, we need to rehabilitate our, co our company's outlook. This is just propaganda the whole time and not actually what happened. Proper, proper, proper gander? Proper gander. I said, to be yeah. flame, to be fair, Blackberry movie is actually really good. It's much more of a social network than it is a flaming hot Cheetos origin story. Flaming, flaming. <laughs> what? Cortana, are you back yet? Yes. So you were right, I can run on lava with a uh, heat resistant metal armor. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I feel so strong. <laughs> Oh, you motherfucker, dude. I'm trying to find a good spot in the middle of this lava lake on the northeast side. So I'm trying to find a spot with like a little bit of uh, stone and ore. Hot, hot, the Hot Wheels cinematic. Or ore and um, sulfur. Mostly. That's just cars. Just so I have it. Hang on a second. <laughs> Uh, Hot Wheels ain't as good as cars. Stop Brad that. Pitt reuniting with Quentin Tarantino in final film, the movie critic. Y'all want to know who the main villain in the... I thought we already uh, had a show called the movie critic. Cars yeah. universe is? What? The Dan Hussein. Takes place in California in 1977 and, quote, <laughs> is based on a guy who really lived but was never really famous, and he used to write movie reviews for a porno writing. <sighs> Oh, he's Audrey? that guy. Years and years ago, when he was being interviewed, he said that's what he wanted to make his last movie about. Fascinating to see he stuck with it. As he said, he, you know, he said he had the general idea for *Inglorious Bastards* for over a decade before he ended up actually like getting where he wanted it to be and making it. I remember yeah. reading somewhere the biggest hurdle for making Glorious Bastards was the character Hans Landa. He needed an actor who could comfortably speak or fake three languages, four if you count the Italian scene, was a good actor and willing to pay, play one of the worst kinds of villains. The article I read claimed Tarantino had all but given up on the movie, or at least a version of it had been originally planned, but then stepped it in stepped Christoph Waltz. That man is genuinely my favorite actor, I think. The actor couldn't just speak the languages, he had to make them sing. What are you talking about? Uh, Christoph Waltz, uh, oh, the getting German cast guy. in Inglorious Bastard. Yeah, yeah he's bingo. so good. I love him and everything. <sighs> the best thing Germany could have put out. <laughs> he's Austrian. Isn't he oh. Austrian? Well, yeah. you know, they're touching. Dude, the last big, the most recent big thing to come out of Austria. Yeah. And he plays a Nazi. <laughs> but we we can't forget about his real masterwork, Der Humping. Takanashi Kiera is Austrian too. That's a big thing out of there. Oh, 
I only start digging and stuff. Oh wow, that was a good bomb. <laughs> homie, li Christoph homie literally landed a 250 pound bomb on my Capolo. Just the Capolo, nothing else. No, literally, it literally landed on it and stuck. It didn't bounce or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> 500 pound bomb flying at like 500 miles an hour just slams into the top of your vehicle. Fight my minions! Kill them all! Kill the invaders! Oh god, the suicide bird. <laughs> oh my god, I got fucking shit. He's dead, relax. Panda finds the weirdest things to post. My panda? Yeah. Yeah. Wax her up, up the the face. Okay, first things first, I need a box. Oh yeah. good, <laughs> Wizards of the Coast said, no, we're not looking to sell our, our d and IP and not the Tencent. Yeah, that was a that was a serious rumor TV. rolling around. Apparently, yeah. they, they, uh, I mean, and uh, no, they are not doing. It. Hasbro yeah, right. still ain't the best people. Yep. Yeah, but everyone's imagining uh, what a D and D game made by Tencent would look like. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, if as if Tencent the... could fuck it up even more. A version where if you buy the physical book in store and then go online, you can't access <laughs> it online. Oh wait. I was thinking more like a really, really terrible mobile game. Yeah. Any fairy plantation. God wants my attention. <clears throat> Hi. What'd you want? Kinda you know, looks like she's lying low. I need my axe. <laughs> What do I ever do with my axe? I didn't pick a great spot for the temporary base, but I think it'll do for now. It's got a little bit of everything here.
Why isn't it setting up? Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's happening? Well, server went down. Hopefully, I'm in the right spot. I do notice that it's really good at saving on the way out, like as you're crashing. What is Anton doing? What is he doing? He's playing a set of Corsa. Oh hell yeah, dude! We love a set of Corsa. It's a fifty viewers. Bang, washed. Fuck is you doing, cuz? Have the pain. Fuck is he doing? Awesome. Blood is making no money unless it's on Tarkov. <laughs> Just ate. I'm giving her more <laughs> treats. She'd already had treats. Yo quiero más! Maybe if you didn't give her treats every day, she wouldn't expect them. <laughs> Your dog has strong insulin resistance. It's... Imagine having a dog with diabetes. That'd be really sad. Giving giving your animals shots every day does suck. Animals need the protein just like us. Yep. Who <laughs> you dog juicing? <laughs> nah. Some of those American bu those bully XLs as they're as they're sold in, in the uh, in the UK. Go, yes, yes they are. Shit, dude, this this fucking match is too easy. I'm dominating these kids. I gotta throw. You're gonna get skill based mash made <laughs> after that. Oh my god, we lost the round, I'm pretty sure we Oh my god, they killed a mouse, dude. Oh, no, I just 4K'd him really and the dude just 1v5 does. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <coughs> Hell yeah. God damn, that guy just took both of my fucking like he just took my entire turret crew's fucking legs out. <laughs> Young gunner right there, dude. Young gunner? Yo gunner? Free gunner? Again? Is he out yet? I don't think so. You caught the plea yet? <sighs> Maybe I should try knifing one of them. Oh, I'm gonna knife this guy. Yep, there's one knife. That's crazy, dude. You guys are sucking the show shit. Yep. 
know what kind of mods are out for this game by now. When if you, someone put out something so you can build like Castle Grayskull. <laughs> Oh my god, they're breaking through. Oh my god, they're in, they're in. They're coming through the fucking walls. The greatest fucking zombies map ever. What map? Cause it was fucking Five. pitch black, you couldn't see shit. What? what? Which map are you talking about? Which map are you talking about, Willis? Oh, uh, the fucking the Arma 3 map where you couldn't see shit at night time. No, I'm talking Arma about 5, map? dude. Arma 5? <laughs> Fuck. No, man. no, the fucking... Like, 5, the fucking Squid. Cod Zombies map, dude. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I got you. That's actually, like, the greatest one ever. Yeah, you know what? I don't know, man. Whenever I played it, it was just like doing the fucking wood glitch. Yeah, but I mean like... <coughs> and jumping up on the table, you know? What? I had the little crackhead that would run around and steal your shit. It was fucking... Fucking rat. I don't know, I liked it. I liked it. it was, uh, like, it, Not like, as in like the best playing one or whatever, but like... It was a, uh... Yeah. Like a good meme with fucking JFK and Fidel yeah. and fucking McNamara. It was a it was a good meme because it got really fucking hard once you got into the fucking uh, control room. Get the MPLs off the walls. It's just the storm deck. Settle down. It says the storm deck. There's something, something outside. There's something outside. It's just the storm deck. Settle down. Uh, China rebukes New Zealand for flirting with Orcus membership. Orcus? Orcus? Australia, United Kingdom, US, the, the military alliance between the, the, the mutual defense agreement between the UK and Australia. Mutual defense force? Isn't China like starting to settle down again? <laughs> like they, they got no. all hyped up last year <laughs> now. Alright, cool. Good to know. No, he saved him. I was blading him. What the it's fuck? The funny thing being, of course, that we're part of Five Eyes, so like, if China, like, if. <laughs> This, like, this defense, I mean, granted, the AUKUS agreement is, like, literally straight up about defending against China. It's it's the discount NATO in the Pacific. Pacific. We have NATO. What involved. did China ever do to, to, to fucking, uh, you know, get so much beef with everyone in the world? Uh, start a lot of shit for no reason. After World War II. I thought that was Japan. Yeah, they started uh, what's shit. The, what's the meme World again? I need to find the meme. Did we make them, you know, should we have let Japan just eat China? <laughs> Yeah, uh, they tried, but that was Nan King and all that. <laughs> well, but should should I mean they they fucked up that entire region? Should have we just let them keep going? And just, well, like, I let mean, them? Uh, con conversely, if we would stopped them sooner, then uh, the Chinese Communist Party probably wouldn't have been successful in the takeover. Yeah, that too. No one could have guessed that those fucking well, well, goobers well, would have fucking turned into like the fucking idiots they are now. Well, they can pretend that their founders uh, were brave defenders during World War II, really just spending more of their time fucked off into the mountains, letting letting the uh, the uh, Chinese government uh, military forces do all the, the heavy lifting first. That's the way well, the, the, the communist Chinese did nothing but build their strength during the Second World War. Yep, and then and they then struck the, the uh, nationalists when yeah. they were weak. Because it was Maybe. Russia that was beefing with Japan, right? In, in the, yeah, Russia. In China, oh, okay. Like during so, World War One era? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were so mad I mean, about China, the they're not in China. Russia and Japan, they did it, clash during the Second World War as well. I fucking, I seen it, dude. It's, it's, it's fucking very, proudly very, displayed very in very my war. It's dude. an Anglo world, you're just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my war or my way? I can't remember. My way. What the way. fuck? <laughs> Why is this guy in KV-1? Why are you mad? I'm, like, this is bullying, dude. 
This is like actually Cyberbullying. He's in a KV1. It's, it's like my favorite meme. It's a kind of racist. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's I'm bleeding like... people, dude. They're not letting me. The fucking camper axe sucks for fucking killing people, man. I do like that the British guys got bad teeth, though. <laughs> but of course they turn New Zealand into a fucking middle <laughs> yeah. With his Timothal on as well. Yeah. I got a 2,000 pound bomb on the Japanese team. The fuck? That's crazy to me. Two thousand pounds. That's crazy. Shit, we're on we're on track to get a nuke, boys. You guys think you can dead left a two thousand pound bomb? Uh, negative. No. You guys don't <laughs> seem brolic enough then. I'm definitely pounds, not brolic sure. enough to dead left a two k pound but bomb. Yeah, two k, nah. I think that'd kill me. If I didn't already have a hernia, I'm gonna have one after lifting that bitch. <laughs> Come on, they just need one more round to win. Give it to them. Why are you still trying to throw? <laughs> Cause like the high, like I said, the higher rating you get, the fucking. That's what I said. You're trying to. More the, the the you're trying to play the skill-based matchmaking like Jev, where you just like, I hope I do bad. <laughs> that way I get easier games. Cause there's the 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 only the only like um. What's it called? There's no balance in Tarkov Arena. The only balance is rating. Yeah, so you can be stuck with fucking an absolute shit preset that has only like flesh damage around, then you have to fight against dudes and ultims and shit. Well, just aim for their exposed bits. Like well, I mean, on the plus side, you're not <laughs> getting through the ult in anyway, right? So. <laughs> but like, you really don't have a chance. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. Wait, how do I get emails? High quality. Especially if you didn't like mainline down like one fucking lane, then you know you're pretty like underpowered. Let me try this one. Oh, I can't make nails here. Birds. My central tower kinda giving me vibes of the beginning of The Witcher 3 and GLI. <laughs> GLI? <laughs> what? Hip. What? I'm not sure what to do with my my volcano base at the moment. What? Like, should I make it into like a main base? The spot isn't that great. Like, it's all right. Poor Lola got stuck. <laughs> she, she would probably. Step her dad, I'm and stuck. She stretched out, and then she <laughs> slid kind of off the end of her bed, and then she ended up getting jammed between the end of her bed and my dresser, and like stuck on her back like tur like a turtle. <laughs> And she, she tried to, get, she couldn't get her paws underneath herself properly, so she was just kind of jammed sideways. And she's looking at me like, "Help, help me, help!" Uh, <laughs> so I had to, help me, Dad. I had to slide her bed over so that she had enough room to get turned around. Papa, I need help. <laughs> Good girl. Climbs up under her bed, pet comfort me. <laughs> I'm sad because I'm fat. It's funny. I am sad because I am fat. Oh yeah, that's right, I need like, nails. Nails to have beds. I want attention thing over and over again. You know what? Hmm. We've had enough attention and enough treats. I so I locked her out of my room for about five or ten minutes. And when I open the door, she's like, oh, can I, can I run out for treats? I'm like, nope, nope. And I get on the other side of her and I just start ushering her into the room. Like, oh, 
on, go lay down. Fucking pain in the ass. Did the sun fucking rise already so I can see the goddamn ground? It's so freaking dark over here. Goddamn it, Unreal. Mm, no. Can the sun rise already? I'm trying to get back what? to the town. I'm trying to get my butthole looks like a guy in an overcoat. Nice, dude. That's fucking cool. That's kind of based. I want to know what fucking job he had. Shit. Uh, the base god's yeah, job, dude. This fucking dude. Where do you, where do you, where do you, where do you work where you're paid for in your cat year? Now you gotta be sucking some dick to make that kind of money. <laughs> oh. Yeah, buddy. Um. <clears throat> Who's Pepe? Do I have to suck? Mine. My, my, mine. I know Nikita personally. You know, you you know, know Binius and Burb? Yeah, he, he can change his stats. <laughs> They're bloody, dude. <sighs> Binius and Burb are bloody, dude. Crazy. With my 400k salary, I'd be. Paying two hundred. The fuck is a California twenty one? What is what is a salary? Salary? Yeah. Oh, salary. What is, what is I meant I meant salary. What is salary? Salary. Salary. What is salary? You know salary? The, the fucking. What is the thing thing that grows on trees and shit? Salary. The yellow thing. Yeah, no, the yellow thing. Uh, the potassium. The potassium fruit. Salary. Bees. Bears, beats, oh, battle sorry. Oh, oh sorry. Going. Sorry. Two bees in a trench coat. Bears, beats, battle sorry. Two, three the yellow, bees. The in a yellow thing. Coat. No, okay, they're not. Okay, they're green. Oh, when they a on Cavendish. Trees, when they fall, they're yellow. A, ca a Cavendish. I uh, the, the papaya. Lemons. No, you're talking. You're talking about Kavanaugh. He's in jail. I'm talking about. Uh, okay, lemons. Lemons. Are we talking about lemons. They, they sell them. Cello, green, right? dude. No. We love Those cello. Uh, lemons from concrete ground. Concrete ground? Uh, peanuts. You gotta be careful though, you gotta be careful. There's some lemon stealing whores out here. Peanuts? Like, like packing peanuts? peanuts? No, uh, yeah, they're in boxes. Oh my bad. Uh, what about... Uh, like, uh, like a fucking... Like a, like an almond. Dibby Doki loves eating packing peanuts. Are you talking about almonds? Yeah. Almonds? Almonds? Chocolate oh. almonds? Dude, chocolate, chocolate roasted- uh, chocolate covered roasted almonds? You know those dark are toxic, chocolate right? Dark chocolate <laughs> ramen? Da yeah, dark cho like they- it melts in the fucking pot, you know, when you put the hot water in. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the- that's the Jewish synagogue. Oh, uh, Jewish synagogue. Oh, that was- that was the sewer juice. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't been tracking this conversation. Is, this, is that what they're calling now, the sewer juice? They came out of the sewer, didn't they? That one in particular. Didn't nah, this guy's the, 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 they're literally on, they're literally on guys, camera. This guy's an anti-sem. Why not even I would say some shit like that? That's wild, dude. Yeah, confirm. I feel like I'm being painted as something else. Are oh, you being yeah. painted all right? That's a whole uh, he's, he's, he's not gonna fair, get that. Fair, get it straight. It's anti-Semitism. I'm racism, idiot. <laughs> he's not gonna get that 400k <laughs> celery job. Even if he's gonna be talking like that. Celery. Oh, it's celery, <laughs> like 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 packing peanuts. No, celery like the fucking almonds. Oh, my bad. It's literally the, the, restarting. The chocolate Shut the roasted fuck almonds. Up. No, the, the dark chocolate ramen. <laughs> dark chocolate ramen. <laughs> Shut up, beer. We're playing this straight. Shut up. <laughs> no, dude, my load exploded, dude. He blew my load. He blew your load. I think what? my IQ has dropped by at least sixty. Yeah, I was oh like, okay. Guy. So did your did your MMA like skill cashews? go up two X then? Like, like cashews. <laughs> Like See if I can jump out of the map like again. Like nah. I could shank redemption. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Fart is not. Everyone thinks he's fucking retarded. Because he is retarded. You see this fucking face? <laughs> Yo! He's just, he's just a mouth breather, dude. Leave him alone. I like got kicked in the face by like a fucking horse when he was a child or something, dude. Yeah, dude, he probably yeah exactly. He's mentally deficient. What? He probably just broke him his nose really bad. <laughs> oh, now y'all talk about me. No, he said broken nose. <laughs> Just don't break your nose, it's that oh, easy. Fuck. Honestly, if, he's, if he is a mouth breather, that's fucking impressive. Imagine he gets nose fixed, dude. That's a fucking. Oh, come on, let me catch you, dumb. That's a mythical fighter. Oxygenated fucking Islam. your balls. Yeah. Help. Yep. God, I'm only one shot. Hail? There's hail right now? No. Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Damn, the homeless are getting battered tonight, then. Fuck them. Yo, what's old mate of the fucking shopping cart gonna do? You better take time. <laughs> yeah. yep. Shit's gonna be falling around him. Yeah. Be dizzy from now. Yep. Nor. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. What is a M4 T20? Oh, dude, it's an M4 Sherman with a T26 turret on it. That's fucking stupid. An M4 T21, dude? Watch out for the fucking Shermans with three T66 turbos with NOS and a low tech system exhaust. Low tech exhaust system. No. Low tech system exhaust. No, it's low tech exhaust system, brother. No. He actually butchered the line. <laughs> so forget about the code. Dude, that's crazy to me. Game. You got killed by Fagula? What? Wait, how are they able to name themselves shit like that? Like, wouldn't they get banned? Because it's a Russian game. Why, why God do you damn it, Nikita. <laughs> a Russian game. You got killed by Pedor Gila, dude. <laughs> Magilla straight up, not even, not even like trying to hide it with like a one or an I. It's just straight up, like the, the proper way. The fuck. Feels illegal. Nah. <laughs> Isn't that their favorite word in Russia? Yep. That or pedo. P Peter Peter Pakir. Peter Pakir. El quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> hey look, they randomly picked themselves. Oh, 
Alright, ladies, go place these in place. Yep. Three T sixty six turtles with NOS and a Motec system exhaust. If you're gonna fight, you, <coughs> you better start fighting like you're the third monkey on the fucking ramp to Noah's Ark, and brother, it's starting to rain. I haven't heard that what? one in forever. <laughs> Damn, they're still breathing. <laughs> Damn, they're still Where breathing. They're starting to rain. Yeah, just hope one of the other two monkeys are, are a girl. Monkeys? Or. <laughs> You think the Bible cared about gender, dude? Well, well about if you can't repopulate the planet with monkeys if it's only two males or two females. Not with that attitude. Yep. I mean, yeah, true. You said the monkeys were for each other. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it was Family Guy did that joke though, where he's just like, <laughs> "Whoa, whoa, I'm trying whoa, to run whoa, down. Whoa. No, he what got me again. What the fuck is this? Tequila like cosplayer got me. <laughs> Get wrecked." Can you choose the way you look in that game? Well, he's probably wearing Tegula's armor. We just spawn in with No, the it's the Fagila guy. Oh. <laughs> I'm still throwing these games, but sometimes I gotta put some spice into it because it becomes a little too easy, you know? You gotta fucking blade them or something. Can they shit. report you for their throwing? Like, is that a no, home? what are they gonna do? Report unskilled player? You know how long it took for them to put a report system in the fucking game? Hey, that's why I'm asking. God. I don't even know if it's in this fucking version of it. <laughs> it took them like six years to add a report button. <laughs> Actually, I really don't think there's a fucking report system. With Nos. Nos. The new old stock? Don't let this distract from the fact that he knows he needs those parts tomorrow. Today. Now. It's just funny to me that I've heard people call like, the cops with actual uh, lines from like Midnight Club and shit. It would fit yeah. better in my skyline. The Gallo twelve, the Gallo twelve, or the Gallo twenty four. Uh, Gallo twenty four. I know pizza places made engines. I need a new partner. Yeah, man, this thing gonna work. I need a partner. Right, we'll and then we got Tyrese. Nah, nah, I'll pick. Yo, Rome. Yo, Rome. <laughs> Fuck you doing here, Brian? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right, because for some reason he's on fucking house arrest in his fucking he's RV. Out in fucking... In Barstow. Fuck he was in Barstow fucking... Doing fucking whatever fuck he was doing, crashing cars for fucking entertainment. <laughs> fucking demolition derby. Yeah. Hey, yo, Rome! I name go hard, Rome? Yeah, Rome I just Pierce. killed Rome. I killed the killer impersonator. <laughs> Roman Pierce! What? Romain Lettuce. Roman he voted, Pierce. He, he voted Romain. What happened to Roman? Oh, well, you know, it wasn't voting today. Roman used to be a fucking a good character, <laughs> and now he's just like the ass of a joke. In every, one, ep one in every movie. One of the pirated too many songs and burned it on too many CDs. <laughs> 
Ludicrous went from being a fucking mechanic to being a fucking PhD computer science fucking asshole. <laughs> You went for you went from fucking going running some illegal street money. races and trying to fucking murder or murder everybody in his races by just like I'm gonna put the drawbridge up. Fuck it, dude. See you about your see you about your money, homie. Nah, man. I hit like a wall doing a buck forty. I just organized now. I don't get it. Do, 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 do. I don't get it. Do, 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 do. Computer skills oh, out of nowhere. You fucking idiot. Guy selling 3D printed lens boards for uh, speed graphics for $12 each. Does he even customize the whole size? You gotta cut it yourself. That's what she yeah, you gotta fucking drill it yourself! I am low key so proud of this base. I'm high key annoyed with my new one. <laughs> it's not in a good spot, but also like what? it's just temporary, and it's annoying that I have to make all these fucking beds and things. Only for parts or repair, since I don't know how to test it. Well, four hundred and fifty dollars for a camera you don't even know how to test. That's a pretty shitty deal. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Daddy's coming home. Protect I'm me, squires. Alright. Oh shit. It's a rat. Get him. Get him. Facebook search feature is always so busy trying to be smart, it's being dumb. Search for Instax. Oh, do you mean Instant Pot? I'm gonna show you Instant Pots. <laughs> I mean, I told, really smart I told you about that one, <laughs> that one time that um, Google was way too smart. It was stupid. Probably. Uh, but I can't remember which one you mean. Uh, when I Googled uh, Native American restaurants, Oh, and it, and it looked for Indian restaurants? Yeah, and it looked for Indian, and it gave me, you know, Indian food. Yeah. That was, uh... God yeah, dang Indian food. But not the right kind. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. There's a very specific reason I searched for Native American food. I feel like it was a conversation we were having. Yeah, I, I've said it. bread or something. Yeah, I Excuse me, dude. He's had a stroke! <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll pay yep. back Tuesday. <laughs> Why are you having so much trouble getting comfortable, dog? I really wish there was a way to make your base bigger, though. Like, the limited range feels really small. Especially for an idiot like me that sucks at making bases. What? Yeah. 
What happened? Hey, the metal's back. base has become a combat base because the enemies keep getting close and trying to attack the pals, but they all like end up eating whatever attacks them, which is great. Mwahaha. Not the top, but not the covert type. Rooney. Productive day. Okay. Signed a lease, got insurance, or said property. Yay. Good job. Tomorrow I gotta try and get internet and electricity. Stuff is really giving me some real Shao Kahn vibes and all that. And uh, what's his nuts? Shang Tsung. Your soul is mine. <laughs> seen the showgirls review I think it was a review I've not watched the review for it yet <laughs> Rich Evans has a pretty good story from him watching all the what? Timer <laughs> that I won't spoil but it's... I didn't watch it though. that that's an interesting review I'm just gonna say but I do appreciate their uh, dedication to <laughs> Completing the Paul Verhoeven catalog. That is definitely the ugly stepchild of his catalog. This isn't this, this isn't a Robocop at all. <laughs> the one takeaway Quill I'll say is I heard they were making a second Robocop by the way. The, I mean Finally. They already did. Not the original doofus. You know what I'm talking about. A sequel to the terrible Robocop from 2014 or whatever? That was not terrible. Fuck you. That was a great fucking movie. That shit was well, awesome. But it was the raid. It also was a dread. Robocop 2. Oh, wait. Sorry. And I, I think, think a dread. Robocop 3. Sorry, I meant Judge Dredd. But you said Robocop. Okay. And oh, my Judge Dredd in. sequel? Yeah, Holy shit, well, I'm, I'm on board with that. I was saying, yeah, I'm yeah, on board with that. I, that's why after it, thinking about it, I'm like, wait, no. I said, no, that was Dredd. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the Dredd, Dredd movie. movie from, yeah, the Dredd movie was what, fucking awesome. like a awesome. decade ago? Yeah. That was really they're good. finally making a second one. <laughs> Only took them forever. Well, yeah, I'm on board for that. <laughs> that shit was awesome. Misha Hard. Alright, so the other problem with my lava base, Cortana, is the fucking pals keep sneaking off base and then getting stuck. It's really annoying. It really seems like pals are Build not able walls. to deal with. Yeah, I could do that. Changes in terrain height very well. I guess I could build your ass. I just hate to have to fucking mine all that rock. It's already pain in the ass. Hey, I forgot, to about, I forgot about that. In, uh,. In face off, you get to see John Travolta um, 
uh, beat, beat up his uh, on-screen daughter's uh, near rapist, played by Danny Masterson. And of being a near. That scene hits different now. Why? If you that go to sleep, I'll go fly around and see Masterson, if I can find um, a better spot. Was okay. Yeah. Had some rather credible accusations of sexual assault against him. One second to rebuild my team. That's why Danny Masterson doesn't have a career anymore. Uh, I'm a Barbie that girl. In the Barbie world. Okay. I'll take a that note. family goes crazy. Which one? Travolta? Masterson family. Oh. I did not even you know. I, I did not even know how many people were related to fucking Danny. Nah, that were just commander. like actually like random other people in other shows, you know. Yeah, like it's a it's a almost decent spot. It's just there's too many big ass rocks in the way, and the pals don't know better, so they keep trying to climb them and stuff and getting stuck. And then some of them walk out of the you know the outer range of the uh, circle, and then they get stuck out there. And I'm just like, ah, I don't want to have to sit here and baby these people. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. <sighs> what the fuck is happening? It's like they're having a mating ritual. <laughs> what the fuck? Great. Well, the Disco Elysium YouTube. <laughs> Yep. Pipeline has brought me to the speed runs of Disco Elysium, which are fucking hilarious. Yeah, I watched the sub one minute. Seconds. <laughs> the, the other one is game over, and it takes nine seconds. <laughs> because all you have to do is try and grab your tie off the fan, and you have a heart attack. That reminds me when I accidentally speed what? ran, uh, was it Far Cry 4? Whichever one had a uh, pagan name. I just, I, I went away to go cook something real quick. And I came back where it is, uh, where it is the five minute timer was up and pagan Ming comes back and he's like, all right, now let's go find your mother's grave. And the credits started rolling. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> oh God. Cause I didn't know you were supposed to actually get up. I thought you were supposed to wait and it was just going to be like a one minute thing. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to let that timer run out real quick. I'm going to go cook whatever it was. It was like a quick little fry up thing. <laughs> Fun Let's fact, see. this scene wasn't in the script. Danny Masterson just what? tried assaulting her, and John John Revolt kicked his ass. <laughs> yeah, everyone in the comment section of this clip is just like, yeah, this uh, is for the age well for Danny Masterson. Yeah, but too bad he didn't actually hit her. Or hit him. So the oh. other gatekeeping boss in Disco Elysium, if you start to watch people playing it, is... The chair. There's there's a chair that you have to sit down in, and it causes you a lot of physical damage. And if you're not prepared for it, your game will just you'll just sit in the chair and have a heart attack because it's so uncomfortable. Sounds like you just got pathetic, um, a pathetic ass. <laughs> Uh, it's so uncomfortable, heart attack, and just fall over. <laughs> well, he is wearing disco jeans that give you plus one to suggestion because you have, it fills out your ass. But it also gives you minus one to logic, I think. Damn it, you guys reminded me of that video. Let, like let me look it up. Ass. It is kind Aww. of funny. Aww. I know, as I'd like to fuck your cat. That was the one. Still got that on your soundboard, 3D. Um, yeah, I got it. I have a need to hear it now. <laughs> I was gonna awkwardly just do absolutely nothing, and then like 10 yeah, I know. press the button out of nowhere, but now you've ruined it for me, so I guess I have to. I'd like to fuck my cat. <laughs> 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 it's mostly the cat sound that makes me laugh. <laughs> they say the clothes make the man. Do you know what else they say? Indonesians make the clothes. <laughs> yeah. Both are kind of true sayings, I guess. 
Yeah, nowadays it's Bangladesh. It really is. It's Bangladesh. all the same. Don't okay, so... That. In Disco Elysium, your flare-cut trousers give you plus one to electrochemistry tight around the crotch, and minus one to Savor Ferry, that's Savor Ferry, yeah. tight around the thighs. Ah, so you're cutting off your circulation, that's why you're having heart attacks. Maybe don't fucking do that. <laughs> it's like a gamer that never stands up. Been in this chair for 16 hours. You think I'm getting up now? Mm -mm, I'm gonna win. I don't know how oh, people this do is... it. Like, don't you gotta piss? <laughs> I don't know, some of those people, like... I'm sure that video is fake, but the one of the mom yelling at the son, Go take a shit! <laughs> No, no, not yet. Okay, no. so what I actually was referencing are the pour le homme le borchines. I'm terrible at French if you can't. No borchines. Um, and here's the description. The born cheese? Although these jeans look worn, the wearer must have had an ass given to them by the lo mighty lord himself. That beautiful peach shaped man ass has imprinted itself so deep in the fabric. You can't but wonder if boring them to start molding your own big rear side into a more shapely form as well. And they give you plus one to electrochemistry, god ass. They give you minus one to reaction speed, hindsighted. Goofy. Oh, the, the writing in that game is just so good. What? Hmm? I need more wood to make a logging site. Boo. And I mean, if you want to be in a nice forest, you could always build on the north end in that ruined city. I haven't really explored too much, so... Where's that compared to where I'm at? Northeastern, northeastern uh, Lava Lake. Northwest. Northwest? Oh, I see the forest you're talking about. Yeah, one of the benefits of being warm and uh, being able to get sulfur or coal or whatever I can find here. What? Easily. And I will also say that the memes and fan art from Disco Elysium are just top tier. Yep. Mm. Yeah. to come here <laughs> there okay Here's another example in that category.
just did. Alright, so what did you find for me, Cortana? You said there's a wood line to the north, sure. That's viable. What other cool spots that actually look like they have a decent clearing? <laughs> I can't work with all these god dang rock pillars. What? Oh shit, this spot might be pretty great actually if you're willing to build a bit. Yeah, yeah. Where are you looking? Because this map kind of sucks, it's showing topography. I'll come to you. Okay. Do I need my flying mount? Yes. Z dragon egg though. What? Yeah, if you want to live actually in the lava, I think this will be good. <laughs> it actually can happen. <laughs> Search for Reddit on the coming app store and you get this. It's like a wizard fight out here. There's me, the American wizard with my pistol. A, shi a ship all on its lonesome. Most of its guns apparently don't have very good uh, depression. All right, it's do you want to head ship. over there? Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry, less less than 50 people on board, so it's a, it's a fairly yeah. small ship in there, I got. And something that probably should not be operating alone. Uh, normally, no. I, I think that, like, half the... <laughs> Look how nice the reds on this armor are. It, it was actually inside of a lake, 
Uh, technical is called delay. It was a. It, it was supposed. I think. I think being treated a bit more casually as, uh, as the area goes oh, yeah, because there's nice. a, a 400 no meter breath. wide choke point between that water yeah. and the rest of the, the outside world. Hold still, hold um, still. I'm trying to look behind what, you. <laughs> Come back. What? Um. What sea defense? Only got to see the front. <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> they have a 400 meter oh, yeah, choke cool. point. They, they like couldn't get the drone ships out apparently. <laughs> And like yeah. no shirt. So, <laughs> hip got hit by one so drone that the blew armor, a hole no in the shirt. side. That's funny. And then the next right, drone my bird. rammed into the hole and blew up, and it looked and it looked like it cooked off the magazine. Yeah. We have the wonderful footage of uh, wonderful frames of the ship, uh, very clearly uh, just going bow up and sinking. There's been a lot of Titanic edits already. Uh, well, they get one extra bed. Fuck them. Well, I am gonna go to bed because I need to wake up early. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> yeah. everybody. Wait. Right, where'd you go? There you are. We'll be going over the mountain, so good luck, I guess. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Hey, uh, you, do you remember? Do you remember the suspiciously well-fed dog? Oh yeah, the one that was probably eating Russians. Yeah. Uh, the good news is uh, someone was asking about an update, and he was spotted at least as late as summer. Oh, so he's still around. Here's uh, Sosiska. Sausage. Is it, <laughs> I was going to say, it, they called him Sausage, yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, and this you can you? still see... Anime. Still, still a tubby... Still tubby dog. I can see why they call him Sausage, though. Damn. Hey, it looks like a big-ass sausage. Choker. I, I do like someone in Non-Credible Defense providing the context. The local legends say Sasiska may have something to do with the sudden disappearance of Russian soldiers occupying Chernobyl. There's no certainty, but there might be something to it considering the only person she didn't like on some of the, her, his trips was a Russian. When she sensed a bad heart or a Votnik, unfortunately we will never know. Someone simply added, added the description of the, of the recording made by the soldier in the, from the Georgian National Legion that the dog was from Bakhmut. And in fact, the winter Straight recording up this was cliff. in Chernobyl. Okay, yeah, I'll be there. In but a the dog from Bakhmut <laughs> went, went caught on and went, went viral on the internet. Should so sausage is actually from Chernobyl. Oh, nice. So he started eating Chernobylites, which made him super bellied. Like he got the lead belly part from Fallout. Here I come, I am Sydney Punk. So it's no longer suspiciously well fed Bakhmut dog, now it's suspiciously well fed radioactive dog. Yeah, Chernobylite dog. <laughs> uh, this might get hairy. Oh, wait, we're good. <laughs> Perfect. Very casual. Hmm. Someone selling a two-liter ultrasonic cleaner that came out of an aviation machine shop for a hundred bucks. That's not bad. Except, and I hate to point this out, you can buy one on Amazon for the same price. Uh, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, like right here. Can you actually build no. on the lava? Oh. oh. Down at those bones. I found the edge of the map. Where? Lost track of you. <laughs> oh my god, where'd you go? I was so busy looking at the edge of the map looking all weird out there. Yeah. Back to here. Bones, 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 bones. Bones, bones. Oh, there you are. Suddenly you appeared. I think that's you, anyways. Oh, 
one. Okay. I see you now. Yeah, you like vanished. <laughs> I think you went out of like the log range or something. So I got confused and I was like, I'm gonna go back to the last waypoint. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Get my stand back. <laughs> Just flying in circles. Yeah, you see the edge of the map too, right? That big black dot. Yes. Or the line. Looks so fucking weird. Yep, you just went out of range again. There you are. <laughs> it's so weird that you can go out of range like that. So is this where you're talking about? Looks actually pretty cool. Looks like some real Skeletor shit. Shot rifle? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's the other, the other, uh, the, yeah. A sequence of shot, uh, of, uh, screenshots captured from that footage. Listen, Ivan, I don't have much time. And then the, the, then the bow is up. The only way to win the All special right, military yes, so operation is. <laughs> this empty you can build on this lava. Okay. So you mean just like set up right here and stuff. That's cool. I wonder if my uh, pals can figure it out or will they like lose tracking and forget where the fuck they are. But yeah, if I just build foundation all over it should be fine. So if you just make a big platform you'll have tons of space and you have metal and sulfur in your range. Cool. Where should I put the uh... Yeah. Uh, box, do you think? Like, where seems central for everything? So, have you heard what the... Wherever uh, gets the most of the stuff here, I guess. That's what I mean. Like, have you heard what the you, replacement <laughs> for Wagner is? Uh, Maybe where I am. Canopy? The, Ru the Russians' new, new uh, military unit recor recruiting former Wagner oh, units. Sorry, I thought you said Blackwater. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's, uh, um, well, <clears throat> Afrikansky Corpus. Shit, I forgot the supplies. A no, nah, but at least I know where we are. They're giving it the exact what same name of the, German of, of the German unit. Africa oh Corps. Uh, one palladium, uh, eight wood, three stone. I wonder if there's some at the city. Oh, not a real tree. <laughs> That's a bone. I thought it was the tree. Oh, hey, there's a palladium. <laughs> or pallium, pallium, pallium. This ain't. Uh... Actually, where is Jerusalem? Where is what? Jerusalem, hmm. the. Uh... Drop stone too. Valerie Jerusalem. I'll the, be uh... back with wood. Keep the general staff of the Russian armed forces. Uh, he hasn't been seen since December 29th. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, so he's gone, gone. So I think, like, right here would be... He's been... He's been, um... Missing for a while. <laughs> and you said you can break your box and move it, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll probably do that later. 
once I have a big old platform going. Yeah, uh, as January 22nd, where's Jurisima? Putin's top general missing two weeks after that rumor he was dead. He caught, uh, he suicided, you know, two to the back of the head. One of the chest. Here. Thank you. You're a lifesaver with your speedy little lady. Or is it a boy bird? <laughs> With another character. Okay. Okay. Now, in fairness, he does tend to appear and disappear fairly often. I'd recommend making bases. the platforms high enough to go over the stone, too, so you have everything flat and smooth. Yeah, I need to um, break down my last base. How about that? Does it refund the stuff if you press the spam? Or does it just all sit there? Pretty sure it just sits there. Alright, cool. And then I'll make a platform afterwards. Something Everything like you build will probably just break and the materials will fall on the ground. Okay, as long as I'm able to get it. This will only cost three, so we'll do bam. God damn it. <sighs> what? It just. It was just fine. You have All stone nodes here to mine to build two. Guys, hear me out. What if what if the Russians didn't cover the You have ship to build a two by two. Their ships in oh, code cages. Two. I think I should have. Oh, no. Or a three by three. Oh no. There's some stone you can mine here. Okay. I will get that in a sec. Once again, proving that a Toyota is more, is stronger than a Russian Corvette. You can sink a Toyota in the sea, and it still works fine afterwards. Okay, just need two stone. It looks like it'll work. What? Oh, it's sulfur. Wait, where the fuck's the stone? The smaller ones. Yeah, I was like, it all looks the same, damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nope, that's just uh, fake stone. Yep. You just stood on stone. No, it, it's not. Stone. I mean, it looks like it should be, but it's not letting me mine it. I'm hitting it wrong. How about this? No, yeah, it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Oh. Stupid lights all making the damn there. rocks look all alike. I'm looking. I'm not seeing. That's sulfur too. <laughs> oh shit! Is it? Yeah, that's what I was like, what do you mean? Well, here. Here, here's some stone. I think. Hey, I Take glitched this. out. No, I can't swing. Fucking awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> it worked, but now I'm full. Alright, let me drop half of it. Yeah, there we go. Now I can move, but I'm still glitched. No. How did I fix this glitch the other day? Fuck, now I need wood. <laughs> this place sucks. I'm gonna put down a fucking tree mine as soon as I can. There we go. Thanks for the wood. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'd say make as big of a platform as you can without blocking any of those nodes. Yeah. <sighs> On trial, the Michigan shooter's mother says she wished he'd killed us instead. End quote. Well, I could see feeling a bit guilty about that, given, uh, well... He gave birth to a monster. The, the kid <laughs> told his mom he was hallucinating demons, and she dismissed it as his offbeat sense of humor. He was researching <laughs> ammunition in class. The staff alerted the mother, and she scolded him about getting caught. Wow, really? He seemed a little sad, quote-unquote. Enough that it was noticeable, but the family did nothing to address it. He drew yeah. gory images on his math assignments, mentioned blood everywhere, and the thoughts won't stop. And with all this going on, they bought him a gun and took him to the range. Kid was actually openly schizophrenic. <laughs> and they like, this is a good idea. And was asking for help. I mean... 
they'll constantly say there's a mental health problem, and there definitely is a mental health problem, but there's also a, there's also absolutely no, no mechanism for them. preventing this mental health problem from escalating issue. You know, say by making it so you can my gun. give anyone a gun you feel like. On the day of the shooting, she said she couldn't take her son home or for mental health care that day because she needed to return to work. But she texted the guy she was having an affair with so that, that she could meet up with him. Mother of the year. Yeah, fucking so, 10 out so, of 10. So, so straight up, straight up. Kids having know, all the problems like, and asking for help, which is rare. The kid threw out every fucking red flag possible. It was hand-waved at every single opportunity by the family. They were like, listen, you need to take him home. He's having problems. Like, I'm sorry, I have to go back to work. And then she's like, hey, honey, we can fuck it today. Thanks, Cortana. Like, what the fuck? Hey, I'm trying to get laid. <laughs> Uh, but what does the mother look oh, like? Boy. That's the big question. Hang on. Is she cute? I'm wondering if no. it'd be better uh, to move no. your pal box a bit more south. She she, oh. she looks like she looks like the sort of per she looks like the stereotype uh, of a Nicolai mother. Uh, oh. Yeah, she's 45. She's aged horribly. Yeah, she got some city miles. On like her. to your southern <laughs> yeah, platforms, there may be. Yeah, yeah. I that's see a, that's mean. a lot of city miles. That's uh. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do that. No, that's not City Miles. She's been idling in the Just driveway. Just to better get those notes oh, on the right. land bridge. Oh, right. She's actually been charged with involuntary manslaughter because she's just been, she was so just fucking was neglectful that it. she contributed to the deaths. Yeah, good. That's, okay. that's the argument. Stop hold, again, her stop and her holding parents is. accountable. It's uh, Yeah, stop holding parents accountable. Now it's saying overlap. It, uh, I objects. mean, honestly, in a case like this, I mean, Shit. quite often it's like, well, there's not, you know, how much right. can you possibly have known? Yeah, this probably. This is straight you. up fucking insane. The parents should be sent in first to combat the shooter. If they can't do the it, the foundations both won't be blocking it. <laughs> Collars around the necks with a with a half a pound of C4. Here's your Com AR-15. Take this, out the child. This is your fault. Combat the shooter. Yeah, take it out. <laughs> the, the kid, the, the kid ended up like getting life without back, life either. without parole. And I, honestly, what am I doing wrong? Like, cause he, cause he actually, they actually they just pled care. guilty. But honestly, given all these these preliminary signs, I feel like. This, this, I feel like they really should have just been into a mental institution. What well, I mean, Rotated, they probably so the big are. Side it's of it from, goes it's going to be in a psychiatric ward for the rest of their life. Oh, oh I see. What you mean. I mean, okay. psychiatric, psychi, fucking words are are vacation compared to real prison. Prosecutor shared text messages the shooter sent his mother while he was home alone, pleading with yeah. her to respond because he had <laughs> demons and felt the house was haunted. Oh, poor Rock fucking kid, though. Testified the day before the shooting. They left like, Crumbly a voicemail. I don't see anything wrong with that. This is the one time I'll say, like, you know, I kind of feel for the shooter a little bit, where it's just like, bro, he asked for help, and you literally didn't give up. He, he was, I mean, clearly mentally disturbed and... And asked for help. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, like, there's a part of it that's kind of like, I don't think, I don't think, like, life without parole even makes sense in this case. <laughs> End up if, at you, a mental if they if they ever end, like if they ever manage to treat him to the point where he's sane and and, and everything, it seems it doesn't even at that point it doesn't really make sense to keep him in jail. But that's a, that's the punitive model for you. Welcome to America. Jurors also saw footage of James Crum Crumbly in a local gun shop just four gun shop just four days before the shooting, buying a Sig nine mil for his son as an early Christmas gift. And then the mother then the mother trying out the same gun with her son at a shooting range. Mother. Uh, yeah, they are the first see, parents yeah. of a school shooter to be tried for involuntary manslaughter. That the uh, alleged the yeah, I think this is a much better spot. With so gross negligence. Gonna... Oh, and fuck, I can't teleport address, to my old base. Instead of addressing Shit. your son's obvious mental problems, they bought him a <laughs> it's gun. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to move everything. Combat the shooter. You will become the sulfur baron with that base location. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I got sulfur for days. Like my main base has sulfur right under it too, but this has way more. Okay. Prosecutors made much of how much time Crumbly spent riding horses, often ignoring desperate-sounding messages from her son. She took it. She took his texts about seeing demons and flying pots and pans as his sense of humor at play, and another running family joke what? that the Crumblies had a ghost out, a house ghost in their 1920s home. That probably Crumbly didn't help his mental disorders. Crumbly sad in the fall of 2021, but didn't think it was a health, mental health crisis. I'm gonna build such a cool castle here. <laughs> uh, Alright, I need to grab that fast. We shall see whose castle is better. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be yours. 
I don't play Minecraft stuff like that. I hate building. <laughs> it's he no contest. Her husband kept the gun stored with a cable lock in a case hidden somewhere in her bedroom. Ammunition was hidden elsewhere, because that's what you do, Crumbly said. And said a key to the lock was hidden in the kitchen. Crumbly rebutted Crumbly rebutted several things in the prosecution's case, saying she never refused to take her son home. Uh, no, no, no. Why can't I see my marker I just placed? What the hell? Come on, game. I was pr pretty concerned. She said the picture her son's counselor emailed in uh, her in requesting the meeting. Crumbly expected the meeting to be about discipline, but her son might be suspended for his drawings, which included a gun, bullet, bleeding, bullet-ridden body near the words blood everywhere, and the thoughts won't stop. Oh my god, every red flag. Jesus. <laughs> like, god damn. These are the red flags you ignore to get got, Buzzy. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's literally it. That's you trying to get Friday got. Friday for cross-examination, <laughs> so we'll see how much that stands up and cross. God damn, like, what fucking morons. Whose fault is why would a fort yeah, why are you buying a fourteen year old a nine mil handgun? That's a good question. Honestly. I mean you could why, if they're why mentally is a fourteen sound. year old that fucking insane. I don't think there's enough time for no, him to manifest. I, I think he's, I think he's you, LARPing. But why why the fuck does a kid own a fucking pistol? I mean, honestly, Dude. if you if you're gonna buy a young if you're uh, gonna buy a fun range assuming shooting. you have assuming you have a sane target teenager, a range toy. You don't even buy them yeah. you don't start with a handgun. You wanna you know, you wanna get the I want to start them off with a like a carbine like or something. Twenty two good rifle. formative, yeah. yeah, something some good formative shooter skills if you want. A twenty two as a sport. Yeah, for yeah. A sports gun on like a range toy, not to actually you know, it ain't gonna kill nobody. That should take a, a pistol lot. serves one purpose, to Winning. kill. Yeah, so, like a, the a concealed, the a concealed weapon that you use on people. <laughs> Let's be honest. But no, I was saying like a twenty two no. rifle That's would what it's for. be a pretty good first gift. But that literally should have been a revolver. Parents should lock it up. Five hundred Win Mag. Pull it up for the thing. Well, parents. I want to break my child's developing wrists. How did he get it? Flaming. How did he get it then? Oh, parenting. It ain't so that hard. So parenting is so easy. It's just like. It's not hard to be good at parenting. You just gotta not be a fuck up. Obviously, she failed at that. <laughs> Fuck. What a loser. I just want to know why a 14 year old was that crazy. Uh, mental it's disorders. Lack, usually lack, come lack from of pussy. Dude. Lack of pussy. Well, there's you that too, have... but schizophrenia comes from a uh, it's family line thing. But 14? That's uh, very, it, it, very, it can, very, no, very, 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 very early development. And also, that yeah. is well, very 14, early 14's development. 14's on the early side, but in men, it, you know, teens about through right. 20s. Yeah. In your 20s, those are the risk years for schizophrenia. Damn, here I am. Yeah, but... Almost out of my 20s. Come on, schizophrenia. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, <laughs> but it's there, like it's like on. it's like onset schizophrenia, not like I'm fucking seeing shit. I'm gonna slaughter everyone. Like usually people who do this my are just like thing, I can't fucking wait assholes, old, right? And I just lose my marbles yeah. entirely. I can't wait till I like, can't remember anyone that I know. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> you come onto Teamspeak yelling about stuff that doesn't even exist. <laughs> oh, bro, you uh, like half of us aren't even gonna make it to 60. Get over it, dude. Like, <laughs> you're gonna uh, be killed in a, in a you're road just mad. rage incident in Florida. You're just mad that I'm gonna. You know, is it, Goggles is, it is gonna go full into the wild and live his like uh, live in know, a mountain, packing peanuts. His, his off grid like fantasies. Soup's gonna Please. get killed in gang related violence. I, I like how Ooh, Pat, both of our brains immediately at the beginning of this went to beard dying in a road rage. It's just ironically, I, 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 I we surprised on if you make it the next five we, we didn't. We didn't go. We didn't I go will get say, shanked by a homeless man while on the three, job. No, no, no. C two is going to be the head of a of a, of a IT company that specializes oh, yeah, he's in gonna be projecting specialist. glasses onto people's faces. <laughs> 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 Virtual glasses. And, and Sarah's Sarah's gonna uh the clan's gonna find her. That's basically <laughs> it. She doesn't live next to the clan anymore, so I she's safe now. Sarah sacrificing Cortana. himself in front of the first self driving. I found the ultimate ore base. Yeah, no, he will. He'll martyr himself. He'll they need, uh They need to be you? stopped. They need to be Oh shown my god, that yeah. Like dangerous. on the way back. Uh there's no green corner to look at. Uh, it's gonna it's right, gonna jump. be in it's going to be in 20 years when we look into the night sky and we see space advertisements see, and we decide to be terrorists. Stop for space advertisements and then goggles fucking uh, 
it, it, like, Marches he goes, himself. Walks into things. Parliament and blows himself look, up look, like listen, fucking Man listen, of Steel. Listen, if they start, if they start projecting ads, he asks the Elon sky, for a hug and then he uh, and it, then he blows himself yeah, up. The, the explosive device Boom. is sewn into my abdomen. Oh wait, detonates. there are grid coordinates. Okay, four uh, nine three. Uh, seriously, four, if they four, start nine. projecting ads into the sky, Bottom or into my dreams, like the two different technologies we're, tr we're going, we're trying to do this. And then where I I'm am, at I am is going to become a terrorist. Five eighty. I three three five three. At, at that at that point, it's like you know what we're we're at this late stage of capitalism. Cyber terrorism. It's time. It's it's time for the uprising. And by uprising, I mean we're all like, just so. When I delete my original base, I'm definitely fire. moving it all to here. <laughs> like, it's gonna be a little ore base, better than what uh, Dragon Listen, Life has. We have to face at this point that, un unlike the French Revolution, all those rich motherfuckers are gonna be able to get into a private jet before we get to them, unless we make it to the airports first. So all the rich motherfuckers the always first. already have underground bunkers. It's too late. Yeah, you just gotta already well, be there. If we, can't, if we can't get to an airport first to keep them from getting to the wherever they fly to where their bunker is hiding. You, you have to settle for the next best thing, which is making sure they never feel safe to ever leave the bunker again. Yeah, have you ever watched Snowpiercer? That's basically what you're describing. <laughs> hmm. Like, I... Yo, New Zealand's third least corrupt country in the world. So... The, I, the way I figure, the longer they're in their bunker, the more likely the security team is there to finally crack and... And torture them until all the passwords are given up. And yeah, you've watched way too much Fallout. <laughs> That's what I always seemed to happen. The TV series uh, isn't out yet. No, not the that. I meant no, like man, the no, stories no, no. Just, of the lore. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about the fact that I I didn't even Fallout didn't even cross my mind. What crossed my mind was like reading the articles about the measures that these people try to take with their bunkers, like fucking that dickhead from from from, from Spez from Reddit and all that. Where they, like one of the big one Reddit. of the big concerns they have is how they're going to manage their security team to keep the security team from taking over. He's already and, seen and almost all of them. Line. And almost yeah, all of them are just like really weak moronic. sauce things, like like password protecting the food supply and shit. And it's like, dude, that's someone just gonna is make going to them beat more mad. you with a wrench. Yeah, because they couldn't get their food <laughs> until you give them the password to the food. That's going to happen to you. Oh, the Fallout no show stopping. is like this in like a couple months. Yeah, it's in a That's couple soon. weeks or something. Yeah. Or not yeah. weeks. It's in no, April. Months, yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, um, Cortana, Ooh. do you still need more uh, flour or wheat? I have fuckloads again. I always do. Okay. 3D. I have some Come bad grab news. it from my main base oh, when you're ready. What's the bad news? Cats was released four years ago. Good. I still haven't seen Why do you have to do this to me? I'm glad we forgot it existed. That sucked ass. Oh no, that you know what that really means though? Release the butthole cut. It's been yeah, it's been that many <laughs> years we still haven't got the Release the butthole cut. cut. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was everyone naked in that production, like at all? Or were they they're wearing body cats. suits? No, no, I know they're cats, but no, I meant were they wearing that body suits? That is a complicated question, 3D, because you see a cat take off its fur to have more fur. You also see a cat wear a trench coat and a hat. I never watched I the am movie, here. so. Neither did I. I just know. I just know what I've seen oh, yeah, from yeah, clips of people like, going, "What the out. fuck is cats?" Version one of cats also had um, CGI replaced fur that had no 3D fur. Yeah, that's why. Oh uh, no! I did the wrong thing. I discarded it. Was just, like, it. Flat fuck. Really? Okay, yeah, sorry. Next time. <laughs> fuck. Whoops. <laughs> do, you like, do you like the uh, the TIL for Atlas the Third? Oh my See god, I'm so sorry. No. That's such a waste Atlas of time. Atlas the Third of Pergamon. <laughs> I had, had interest 400 in ruling almost. his kingdom. <laughs> and instead he was devoted to his hobbies. Like yeah, for more at you later. <laughs> That's so, so stupid. in his that will, he left his entire kingdom to the Romans, thinking, well, they'd conquer it anyways, and he wanted to avoid people dying. Huh, he, was he was the last king of Pergamon before it was absorbed into the uh, Roman right, Empire. I'm gonna start breaking down my so base. Said, Thanks, Attalus, all military and aged men in Pergamon. Hey, <laughs> Roman, not so fast. We're gonna need them resources. Welcome to the Roman military. Curb your enthusiasm. <sighs> but to be fair, by 133 BCE, being a head of state on the Mediterranean, thinking to yourself, I'm not scared of the Romans, we can fight them off easy, was a bit like deciding to be a bank robber in Gotham City. <laughs> I'm not scared of Batman. That, that is the greatest comparison I've ever heard. 
Unless you were Carthage. Car Carthage legitimately wasn't scared of fucking Rome. They're like, fucking and, bring and it. And the guy that came after that <laughs> tried, to, tried to revolt against Rome, killed a Roman consul, and got smacked down hard by the Roman army. Well, yeah, that was his own fault. Yeah, he the wasn't victorious handled. Romans deprived Pergamon of its benefits and its status as a free city. Henceforth, the city was required to pay tribute and accompany all su and supply Roman troops. And the property of many of the inhabitants was confiscated. Yeah, it didn't really yeah. work out for the average citizen. Basically. Imagine getting your shit taken. <laughs> You're just like, son of a bitch. Alright, can I make a metal box? Yeah. Again, the sm we uh, beard. You know the smart, the smartest criminal in uh, Gotham City. Who? You hear something in there? Uh, open oh the door. yeah, he opened the door. He's Batman. Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Looks at Batman. Batman looks at him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you look the at the door, I remember that episode. Anything if you there? look at his face, nope. he got his ass kicked like earlier that day by Batman. Yeah, he's just like, and like I'm he not just had his again. nose fixed. Like he, so, he's just like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Never again. Never again. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was working for the Black Mask too. So, <laughs> like, nah, I'm good. Get my ass kicked again today? Nah. I'm all right. All right, so I'm gonna start ferrying all my supplies from my main base to here, and then the secondary base will get broke down whenever. Cause it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get there. NASA to wiggle Ingenuity's broken blades in order to analyze the damage to them. Oh my god. JPL will slowly rotate the blades and wiggle them or adjust their angle while selecting video in order to allow the team to determine the extent of Ingenuity's damage. However, it said that no matter what the imaging shows, the dual rotor drone has flown its last fight, flight and will soon end its mission. Helicopters like these are not designed to fly with even a fraction of a grant of imbalance, so... Why? That's probably supposed to be a gram. You need to so make it more, like, it needs to be able to be imbalanced because the weather there probably sucks ass. And well, it's no, it's, gonna be thing, it's, design, it's designed to handle it's designed to handle atmospheric conditions, but the oh, okay. being out of balance. You mean all having all the yeah, sensors the on board are gonna be I shaking gotcha. like shit? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. All right. For a second there, I was just like, "What do you mean they made it so it can't have any tolerance?" Jesus. <laughs> Quick, clearly, just have Percy fire the rocket blading laser at the other end of the of the rotor. And <laughs> she's crazy. Killed that shit. Alright, food goes last. Grab everything else. That's well. Admittedly, there's a part of me that just want, wants to see them spin it up at full speed again one last time before it goes out, out of line of sight. Just to see if <laughs> just to see if it survived. <laughs> How big is that gyro cup in, in, in the Mars? I, Isn't it like fucking size of a car? About like, that. It's massive, right? It's it's pretty big. It's big. I saw the half scale model and I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have the full scale model inside. It's too fucking big. <laughs> imagining the aliens seeing the kind of dumb shit we send. They're just like, why the fuck are they sending helicopters? <laughs> I think my new base is ready to move into honestly. So you're going to start doing what I'm doing? I'm just ferrying supplies. Yes. Ah, uh, sucks. Keep ending up overweight constantly. And then slowly walk towards the box I put next to my pal box. They're testing extended range off wire trolley buses. Hmm. Extendo range. Nope. 
Again, I do. I think that I think that uh, that uh, trolley buses or, or tro trolley hookups with a uh, onboard power supply is an excellent idea for uh, for vehicles like this. Yes. And trucks and so on. Largest trolley bus fleet uh, in the U.S. I'm just or in nice. North America. I think uh, and. I think Vancouver is the most the, the most finished uh, the most trolleybus line in Canada. Oh damn! I got some, I got a Blaze Hound. Blaze Hound. I will now be thinking of myself so as four version. bags of Big sand blues. when I ride Muni. Here's the hoping the pandemic uh, didn't turn me into five bags of sand. <laughs> I just delete all oh. the bottom bits. Oh, my how about that? Me too. All the top bits. If the second part is probably less than the kids. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're number two right behind you. Uh, 13 groups, uh, 262 buses, 74. Oh my god, it did. It's are, raining. <laughs> 74 of them are articulated <laughs> trolley buses. Bendy bus. 185 plus 93. Uh... Oh no. Interesting note. Oh yeah. So as of four years ago, uh, there was actually a stretch of the of the uh, from uh, 41st to uh, and Crown Street to UBC. In the 70s, it actually had been converted into a diesel bus route mm -hmm. because they extended it without without extending the overhead trolley wires. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2020, they actually returned it to trolley bus operation because they cut the route back down to its original length, <laughs> and then they added they used a different express express bus to do, to go the rest of the way to UBC. <laughs> Any more ingots? Seriously? Some people say no. trolley bus trolley bus wires are ugly, but you know, I don't know. When I look at them, I just I feel like I feel like I'm actually living in a place uh, like I'm actually in a place that put time and thought into living there. They were willing to commit. Now, new flyer makes all of the buses. Are uh, some of our er early ones made by Canadian Car and Foundry? The thing about Canadian CCF, they ended up going on to make uh, tanks, I think, in World War II. It's not a car. That's basically a car. It's just armored. One is actually a, a th yeah. This is actually a preserved bus. They still it's, uh, it's still uh, still functional. This was during a private <sighs> excursion in 2010. Number 2040 has been restored to the paint scheme of the BC Electric Railway. I'm at 3,000 tonight. <laughs> <sighs> 3,300 pounds right now. He's so sad. Just stuff. Coast Mountain Bus Company run has been running it since 1999, but yeah, I actually remember. I, I last time I would have ridden one, I, it would have been back when it was uh, BC Transit. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, so yeah, in the 2000s, the trolley bus route has actually been extended at times. With new wire. it would have to be something in street kind of a little bit more dangerous. Yeah, then you have, uh, I mean, at that point, you might as well just... I mean, actually, what do you call that? Uh, it... hmm. Words I'm thinking of. You mean, like a third rail, or what are you thinking of? Uh, like a uh, slot my... car? <laughs> Slut car. Well, I mean, I mean, at that point, it's basically a tram, isn't it? You basically, you have to. <laughs> you might as well have a track. At that point. Right, because the overhead cable hookup or a, uh, give you the car. give you the flexibility of going left and right within the distance of your sticks. Exactly. Unless you do so, unless you do, like do one of those magic things that isn't real, like wireless charging under the ground, which isn't real. Yeah, I was, and I was, work. I was limiting <laughs> myself to not that. Yeah, to not magic. Yeah. <laughs> magic. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, what else is, what else is the option? I, mean, I guess the option. Well, I mean, I mean, see, you could have a one, you could have a one electrified uh, rail in the center of the road, and then a boom that goes down to it. Yeah. That, what could go wrong? <laughs> like trailing behind the bus. No, no, in front of the bus, even better. Uh, a, a push boom, if you will. Actually, you know what? How about you build a cable car system, except the entire mechanism for the cable car is pulled by the boom at the front, so you can still change lanes. <laughs> Just this big fucking boom flying down the road at a 45 degree angle. The bus is going down the road. The bus goes a little too far to the right. Some pedestrian gets its ankle, gets their ankle taken out by it. This is a brilliant idea. We should get startup funding for this. <laughs> I do not endorse what these boys are saying. <laughs> I do not approve of this message. Did they ever bring back JFK as a head Futurama? Those UK judge us. dismisses Trump's lo uh, lawsuit over the dossier containing shocking and scandalous claims. Probably about the Steele dossier? Very uplifting news. So the 2016 story that the Russians could blackmail Trump using a sex tape involving certain other bodily fluids has passed the UK's standards of research. AK, we know the real reason he smells like piss isn't just because he didn't get his diaper changed. Jesus. Wrong like usual, you guys didn't actually read. It's a joke. It's yeah, I was a gonna joke. say, it's a meme. It's a fucking joke. Calm down. Ugh, oh, Trump is now. I'm almost done packing up my base. Boy, is it heavy in here. The nice thing is everything was organized in the box. He goes on it like, because I mean, it, 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 like, Orvis says the lawsuit should have been thrown out because the report was never meant to be made public and it was published by BuzzFeed without the permission of Steel or Orvis. BuzzFeed. <laughs> but he also points out that the claim itself was filed too late. I mean, That's he went. That's embarrassing. It, ha it was in 2017, and he went all of those years without any attempt to vindicate his reputation in, in the jurisdiction of the country. But as this guy points out, dude, I was making a piss joke. Because it's all anyone remembers about the Russian blackmail, because immediately after Tweeto posted a, di posted a dick pic on, on Twitter, let me tell you, as someone unlucky enough to see that dick pic, he is heavily into the heavily abused cock and ball torture, and one good kick to the throwing away from having to change his name to Donna. He, he is our first wow. woman president. Because there isn't a functional, he isn't a functional male based on the dick pic he tweeted, and he, and he was removed previously. 
quickly. It was purple. Now, as a, as, why is as your a, dick a, purple, bro? <laughs> as an AFAB person, I was I've seen a lot of penises in my life, mostly unsolicited dick pics, especially plen plenty of unsolicited flashing, a few sexual assaults, my previous partners, my sons, and another male baby whose diaper I had to change. You guys get my daughter, purple. my father, as a kid during a towel accident after a shower as he was running and fell. I will absolutely make piss jokes about Trump's 2015-2016 scandal rather than have nightmares returning from seeing that on Twitter when I logged on to check if the local power company was on top of the downed lines problem. <laughs> that is a dad. <laughs> Lady, uh, I'm gonna have to give you an upvote. Or a mom. <laughs> I nominate this comment for a Pulitzer. <laughs> fucking... Bra Bravo. Bravo. Also, he never he never did um according to Snopes at least. Yeah, but don't let the truth get in the way of a good joke. <laughs> it was, uh, it... It was originally from some clickbait fake news that site. But that's the whole point. The whole rant is a joke. And it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Right, I gotta throw my pals away. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, Little. yeah, the bath. Man, Trump doesn't get to sue over that? He must be pissed. <laughs> Do, um, look at the comments of that movie, folks. We love piss jokes. Think of what this will do for the sandbag community. <laughs> KAL Muni's electric buses running off the overhead electric cable network are trolley buses, and buses that run off the overhead electric cables are trolleys, and that actually is the pole and wheel connected to the overhead cable that is the trolley. Maybe I'm ignorant one, but I would blame Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in that, it, in that its trolley ran on a rail and didn't have a trolley connected to an electrical line. And it wasn't a trolley, it was a train. Here's another fun fact. Muni's a power doesn't come from pg &E, but comes from Hetch Hetchy Reservoir Dam System, <laughs> which powers the city hall, firehouses, and public schools. Oh, Lucky they don't have to deal with pg &E rate hikes. Yeah, that's probably why the project could move forward. How's your base to construction going? I haven't started yet. Nervous. <laughs> I need to build stuff here first. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. I'm just putting all my shit into a box. Pendulet right admits to the that he was wrong about libertarians. Box. Good. Pendulet said what? As they say, in all Finally. fairness. Ken had a pretty different and strict definition of libertarian for himself. And I and, get that. And he was still wrong about other things. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I get how you could look at the dictionary definition of what libertarian could mean and call yourself a libertarian, absent any other context. So what does he call himself now? I don't know, but apparently Pendulet. that's a thing. And Gillette generally, yeah. I meant, um, like, politically. I, I always like what I know, he had I know to what you say, meant. I, just, I said I don't know. I know, I know. I, I did like his stance on a lot of things. People having to insist that what they found is real. You never see a coach in a Goodwill. You never see a coach in a Goodwill. What kind of coach? Like the bag? Yeah. I ha I feel like I have seen like that level of merchandise before. 
Your, I mentioned it got bought up. Your quick. sarcasm detector must be malfunctioning. It was the uh, P2 was referencing the time I found a coach note uh, uh, folio. Oh yeah, the uh, and then airport. I had a bunch there, yeah. of, of know-it-alls telling me it couldn't possibly be real. And then other people uh, we figured out. Uh, well, C2 figured out that it was marked scammed Northwest Air with Northwest Airlines old 1990s or late 90s logo. Uh, I mean, how could you not recognize that? They don't fly in Northwest. I'm not a plane spotter like some people. <laughs> All the only planes I spot are are, are general aviation. <laughs> If I spotted something from Northwest Airlines coming in for a landing, uh, I probably would bring a camera, honestly, because that would be a newsworthy event. <laughs> Possibly need a fire extinguisher, too, while I've got it. Tesla Fjord crash passengers saved by floating sauna users. <laughs> that sounds realistic, to be honest. Thanks, Lego. Thank, thank you to Lego for posting this in the Discord. How much wood and shit do I have? 7,000 wood. Over 1,000. Oh, the motors were able to warm up in the sauna afterwards. Finally, all my shit will be organized all together instead of in separate boxes. That'll be nice. It's like I have a general understanding of where everything was, like in the chaos, but fuck. There's some times where it's just got frustrating. What? <laughs> Farthest to closest. I have over thirty one thousand pounds on me right now. <laughs> it's about to get worse. That's sixty thousand.
Imagine migrating your base and like losing all your fucking shit. <laughs> Like you die in the. You get bullied by the uh, death penalty. I feel like a poacher on the plains of Africa. Just Why? riding around popping low-level water pals for pal fluid. <laughs> Just running around with your elephant gun shooting anything that moves. Mm, it's coming right for us. <laughs> Imagining Sarah with a gigantic must well coiffed mustache. <laughs> of course we went down there with the big gun. <laughs> I can see it. Should be like Sir Hammerlock. Oh, no. it was filled this. What? No. Yes. I see uh, 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 Andrew Callahan decided to go, uh, or Andrew Callaghan decided to go to uh, uh, another border in the south. See, mm -hmm. apparently some coyotes watched his first video and went, hey, do you want to come see how we do our job? <laughs> <laughs> so Andrew's going to go for a little walk, go for a little walk through to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Rio uh... Grande. <laughs> I'm moving my base. I'm gonna miss that old piece of crap. <sighs> Having its like limited resources and shit. <laughs> Andrew very carefully not saying cartel. <laughs> they used to work for a larger parent organization. Yeah. Friends. These are my buddies. <laughs> okay. Like Saul Goodman, friend of the cartel. Yeah, friend of the cartel. Actually, my yeah. I... I'm good on. Big ass explosion. Um, pick the servers up some shit. 
I saw Moonswatch in the URL. What's going on here? Oh, never mind. I was stuck in the destruction menu. Well, there you go. Wah. Smoke dog. It looks like a moon rock. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars for a moon swatch. What's that mean? Fuck. Uh, overpriced is what it is. Yeah. Apparently, Arthlash watches doesn't like them. Well, they are somewhat fucking notorious. Put it that way. I mean. Uh, the, the, you know the, the the watch crystal is so soft that the that the fancy cardboard yeah, box they came in was actually known to cause problems with scuffing. Oh my god! Just opening and closing the lid a couple of times is enough to generate a noticeable scuff. And what? Well, there it is. I will say that's pretty crappy. Like, if your product's own box is destroying your product, what the fuck? What are you doing at that point? Alright, I should have enough to do everything. hang out on our slash watch as much no i mean i'm trying to find the appropriate subreddit to post the uh the time watch hmm. you know it's a shame that our such weird watches isn't active anymore mm. but uh Would you like to see the slightly less, uh, slightly less snooty watch subreddit? I mean, is it regular to horology? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, but it's like six thousand people. Bro, I'm subscribed there, but yeah. Wait, are you tell me you're just in it for the karma? Yes. And the upvotery? Yes. Oh, okay. What a douche. <laughs> I will say, seeing the watches other people wear, I always end up running this gamut of me feeling like a snob, me feeling like I'm the last person on the planet that has any taste, <laughs> uh, moderate jealousy, and wondering why the god some things ever got made in the first place. <laughs> Wait, is he a horologist? Yeah, uh, I make my money laying on with, my back, with, too. Yes, but with no W. I should have an idea. Bit of an L. We all have some. A living eye. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just making yeah. that joke. What? I didn't even hear what he, <laughs> he said. He said, I guess we all have to make our own living A. Talk about being a horologist. Uh, As in making your money laying on your back. There actually are some uh, some nice uh, some Getting nice watches fucked. on. There are some nice watches on our slash regular horology fans today. What is a couple that are kind of ugly? Fans. Is that like where people aren't like weirdos? Horology horology of course is the study of like of times of timekeeping yeah, and so yeah. on. Uh, regular horology fans is just a slightly more laid back, slightly less snooty uh, watch subreddit, wristwatch subreddit. Ah, cool. So kid. someone might post there, hit you know, like. You know, yeah. here's my weird no-name brand thing. Here is my... Here, here's, my, here's the Casio I'm wearing. Sweet to watch, I got. Yeah. Hmm. I like this Mito Gatorade. It's kind of a... It's an older one. 70s watch. Nice brushed dial. 
And then there's like, I'm wearing my 1990s Casio A500W. <laughs> Build some more floors. I still find it funny that when I that uh, see R slash like R slash Rolex is like R slash Leica, absolutely stuck up ass community, humongously <laughs> stuck up. I mean, I saw like you you posted the Rolex you found to thrift store, store halls and R slash Rolex. Yes. Now I did not expect a good response at R slash Rolex. I just thought it would be kind of funny. I mean, you just got kind of cricket. Yeah, no one wanted to see it. No one wanted to look at it. Um, now that being said, there were a few people that no were actually you nice. No compliments. So we're in good health. Neat. You know, someone made some recommendations about where you can find nice straps, which is, I mean, admittedly, I, I did say, uh, I did say that was after I mentioned the band is fugly. <laughs> Read your post on how you found it. That's incredible. Oh wait, you know actually, mostly actually, you know what? Everyone in our such role, it was mostly crickets, but everyone actually bothered to comment. It was nice. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think the yeah. grumpier people must have been in the thrift store halls. <laughs> God damn it! I ran out of ammo. What kind do you need? I got fuckloads of my new base. Literally. <laughs> Veterans upon right. finishing their service. Lowest one. Lowest. I mean. What kind of ammo? At do you one need? point, the uh, rifle ammo. Pissy person is just going like, yeah, right. I'm not gonna need it. So. What? Where? Rifle ammo. I mean, the people. I got eleven rounds. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where. I remember running into if someone was that, low, was, low that was low price and I'm just gonna buy the some. Watch was worthless unless you had it. Oh, unless fine. you had a Too Rolex authorized ammo, service right? provider uh, <laughs> service it. And I was like, I'm not spending. I'm not gonna spend nine hundred dollars on servicing this watch again after I've already had it serviced, just so I have a piece of paper to tell me that it's really all made out of Rolex parts. I'm not looking to sell it. I don't care. R slash Rolex's posts, though, are often, like, I don't know, but the Rolex community in general. I mean, it's like Leica. Crap, are we losing this? Yeah, the Rolex community in general is kind of worse in some ways, but it's a bit like Leica, if you could, uh, imagine if you will, right? You know how sometimes Leica comes up with a model and it's really hard to get? So, like, you have to, like, know a guy at a dealership that can get one in for you, maybe? R slash Rolex is filled with things like they called! They had one! Because they were waiting six months to try to get a Submariner or something. And you can only get a, you can only get the nice Rolexes if the dealership really knows you and knows that you're like, like really a Rolex guy? You know, really a Rolex guy? Like, Fuck the... Is this rubber banding? The, um... The forced exclusivity is seeping out of the fucking walls. Why would you want a Rolex anyways? They're fucking fugly. Oh yes, that was a person. No, that's one, one person going like a genuine Rolex can only be serviced at Rolex. No, that's not true. You can ser uh, other people can service one. It's just harder, in some ways. Also, ex yes, explain to me more. They can dis disassemble every part clean and then replace gaskets. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't care if the little rubber gasket isn't made by Rolex. Because Rolex is... Because it's a gasket that's made in Switzerland. It's just not made for Rolex. Ah, there, there's Ooh. Mr. Genuine Rolex. There he is. What a tool. Without an overhaul, yes, Rolexes. without an overhaul and certification application on the serial numbers, the watch would not have real value. Well... Yeah, and I, it, well, I, mean, I think I was nice about how my response, but you know. well, something to keep in mind in the future. Should I have a thousand dollars to throw at it? Because <laughs> it would literally be just throwing a thousand dollars at it for the sake of it. That's what it costs in Canada to get them to overhaul one. Finally, a use for all the stone I've been sitting on. One of the stacks I picked up was a uh, maxed out um, stack. It was but I did say, I mean. I mean the, I mean, the thing is, this is not a recent Rolex. This is an old one. This is a 1981 Rolex. 
and it's probably seen more than one watchmaker over the years. I would be very surprised if it only had ever been to Rolex watchmakers its entire life, because uh, it predates that sort of masturbatory fantasy about Rolexes. <laughs> Like I said, imagine jerking off to Rolex. Oh yeah, well that was the, that was their claim is that if oh that was the bit that bothered me. If you've done it elsewhere, Rolex will not touch it again. That right. Doesn't make sense. That was the part where I was like, yeah, that was the part where I was like, what well the fuck I've are you called them about? and you're wrong. Because oh. I actually was curious. I actually was curious enough. At, re uh, at seeing someone say that, going, you know what? I'm gonna find out if that. I that sounds like horseshit to me, because I don't see how Rolex could possibly know for certain. Uh, <laughs> short of opening up and finding a fucking, you know, Miyota fucking quartz movement in there that anyone else has been dicking around. But at any rate, at the same time, it's like if you have an old watch to restore that you give them, what, you're gonna give them a 1940s Rolex and they're going, oh, I'm sorry, someone serviced this in 1957 and we can't touch it now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, sure it's like, it's a, that was a little, more than a little delusional on their part, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I did call the, uh, the Rolex service center in Ontario, I think it is, or Quebec, one of the two. And they're like, yes, even if it has been serviced in the past. And so long as there's nothing in there stopping them from, like, an unavailable part, they would be able to overhaul it. So, yeah. But I suspect I when like you're servicing watches going dumbass. back nearly 100 years in age, the expectation that literally every watch has never seen the touch of another watchmaker starts to become a little, a little less stringent. In this case, the watch is 42 years old without any service history, so that ship may well have sailed decades ago. Perhaps their policies are much stricter on the more recent watches. Which, again, is... In pro in, in, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if you had a much newer Rolex where they were more, more picky about that. But they really can't be picky about watches that were made and sold before this policy was a thing. That's real policy. I could see warranties being a lot like that, though. If someone else worked on it, the warranty they won't touch anymore, but yeah. I feel like the warranty would be that the other person fucked it up, like whoever was I working on it. And I look but even then, it's still so stupid. Purists of any sort and gatekeepers are fucking dumb. As I said, yes, how would I put it at the time to someone else? In my case, I wasn't worried about the new rear case gasket being a Swiss made generic gasket, or being a Swiss made quote unquote authentic gasket, and the rest just needed a cleaning. Love the base. Only took like five hours to get to here. Oh, I forgot about that. That weird little that weird little side journey of someone be, someone finding it interesting that I use the term scuzzy. Why? What's the scuzzy? <laughs> what does it mean? You know what scuzzy means? No. Nope. Looking a bit scuzzy. Oh well, that Scummy, makes sense icky. if you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, dirty. Yeah. You're looking a little like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so someone was like, "Where, where are you from?" Because like, <laughs> someone was guessing I was from the central United States or Missouri or so, yeah, just, just south of like this. Like, I'm from Canada. And so I was like, "No way! It's a common phrase from the Midlands in the UK. All the US lads I've spoken to have never heard it." I, I'd wondered. I would be surprised if it was uh, if, if Scuzzy entered, in, entered the Canadian lexicon via by way of England, like everything else. Like dear. Same Robert. reason why we say tickety boo. <laughs> Ew! What the fuck is that? That was gross. Don't ever say Nothing that Nothing wrong again. with it. It's all tickety-boo. I hate that so much. It's like, fuck the British. <laughs> so, it's not entirely the British's fault, but it's also kind of... I know. It's, a very, it's, it's a probably very French British. or some bullshit. It, no. Really? It's... It's... I feel like okay. it has something to do with them it talking It dates back to World War One-ish. Of course it does. As a consequence. Uh, and it's... And it dates back to World War One because Canadians learned it from the British. The British got it as a consequence of the British Raj. So maintaining a British armed forces in India meant that exposure of British British uh, soldiers to Indian officer uh, uh, to Indian soldiers, and very poorly poorly uh, phonetically translated phrase tickety boo was a translation of. 
everything's all right, sir. So one of the agents will say, "Oh yeah, it's completely blah blah blah," and they go, "What does that mean? It means it's all right." Oh, everything's cool. The tickety boo became a thing in the British Army as a consequence of the Indian Army actually using it properly. And then the Brits kept using it, and then the Canadian armed forces, for the first time, the most amount of time hanging out with British Army regulars, and then it transferred to Cana the Canadian as a consequence of World War One. There's a little bit of the etymology of tickety boo. <sighs> That's cool. And for some reason, despite the fact that the Americans were also in World War One, uh, they didn't learn any of it. Maybe you were too late for the class, or late for everything because else. Because we're busy war. winning. Busy winning. <laughs> We United showed up States with that shotgun, and it was so devastating. Those Germans said that's unsportsmanlike. The United States of World War One is the guy who enters the enters the marathon at the, wrong at the shoes. one mile one mile from the finish line. Like, man, why are you guys so tired? This is great. Woo! Oh, I win. Noah's just mad that we won you the war. The entire world should thank us. Man, you guys still can't pronounce Shosha. Why would I want to say that when I can just blow it up? Just call it the show show. <laughs> yeah, same difference. You guys, you, they were your gun. You fired them. Doesn't mean I got to know how to say it. I just know the sound it makes when it kills a man. <laughs> yeah, it goes, plunk, what? plunk, plunk, plunk. Man, yeah, it's a fucking slow-ass machine gun. Just plug it a bunch of people. All right, Cortana, you want to see the progress? I still need to figure out where all the sulfur nodes are. But for now, it's pretty solid. Have a platform, and I wonder, I wonder how annoyed the Rolex people would be if I point. Uh, no, reply to just that guy, C two. I should reply to just yeah. When that the sun rises, I'll come. That, that, that avoid the warranty. And yeah, go, it is hard. Oh, to see by right the now. way, I got a I will fake say that's Rolex a band to put on. Area. It. I'm gonna actually have to <laughs> 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 Seriously, though, like oil Rolex barons. Rolex collectors do that. Ha 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 ha! A lot of guys actually will buy a Rolex and then immediately buy a fake band to put on because the band. Well, the band wears out, right? All the li all the oh, links. Oh yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. And you sense. end up getting what they call band stretch, and that's actually just that yeah, the insides cool. of the links are wearing out, so it gets longer and longer, and it gets out of shape. And then, if you want to restore it, it's very expensive. You can, of course, pay someone to yeah, yeah. refill all the missing stainless steel yeah. and make it tight again. So some yeah, guys just go, "Fuck it." The, the band is a huge I'm chunk of resale that, value, uh, the condition it's in. So they just buy a fake band that looks identical and put it on the real watch. So that way they'll wear out the shitty fake band. And I look at that and I go, this makes absolute fucking sense, honestly. If you're buying you're buying a watch that's so goddamn expensive, it's an investment. Uh, I mean, imagine if, imagine if you bought a car and like a quarter of the value was the tires. Now that can still happen if you buy a, a shit box, but imagine if you bought a new car and that were true. What do you, what's the first thing you're gonna do for resale value? You gotta fucking take those tires off, put some other tires on. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Still remembering finding out Homelander was New Zealand because of him uh, doing <laughs> Where that were you when you scene. found out Homelander was New Zealand? Yeah, fucking, he's a New Zealander going, fuck off, as he's getting lifted. Fuck <laughs> off. He's just like, why am I doing fuck this? Off. I will say that explains why all their flying scenes always look super good when they're landing. I always thought they were just CGIing it and whatever, but but I was always like, damn, they do a really good job of it. And then when I saw that, I'm like, oh, practical effects. No wonder it looks so fucking good. Show what are you talking about? Uh, Homelander when he does the landing in um, Gen Z. The Gen the the, uh, the background the uh, behind the scenes footage of him getting, yeah, getting slowly lifted. hoisted up. And he's just like, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> Not appreciating the heights. Yeah, he's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did I agree to this? That's when I would ask, where's my uh, stunt man? <laughs> where's the stunt I want to kill more people. I want to kill more people. I want to 
kill more people. Yeah, Cortana ran out of ammo earlier. That was her response. Okay. Almost my new ore base. And I'll never run out of ore again. It will be you fuckers asking me for ore instead of the other way around, and I'm okay with this. Uh, no. But I am going to become the Sulfur Baron, so that's good. I am the Sulfur Baron. You, you say it's a joke, but, like, I have a volcano base now. I believe it. I believe it. I was going to say it's covered in sulfur. You've so played the game the more than I have at this point, so... Really? Oh, it's only been, like, three days. Uh, I haven't played in like, I mean, I played a little bit yesterday. I didn't really do anything. Just jerked off the whole time. Oh yeah, I just fucking rubbed one out. Just beat me. Yeah, schmeat the meat. Jay is playing Anastasi. What? You gonna play with him? No. Ah, yeah. I'm going to bed. Oh shit, it is that way. Later. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I wish. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Wow. Hey Google, yeah, do I have anything scheduled today? Oh right, it's Saturday, so it's like uh, 11 a.m. I'm super glad. <laughs> Film speed vary by paper size when printing. There it is. Master League Episode 3 is not available for torrenting yet. I'm annoyed. <laughs> well, you know, I was, just, I was just thinking about that. But I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it hadn't released yet. Let's take a look here. It released like six hours ago. Oh, darn. Six oh, whole well, hours. clearly, Pat, what you need is a better torrent. I mean, y yeah. Yeah. I'm literally doing it off of Easy TV, which is pretty fucking lackluster. They had the other two, like, less than an hour after they released, so I just assumed that they would have part three done and dusted. Let's see, well, I can't give you a link to one of my t torrents, or else um, it would ban me. More in this way. Come on, sacrifice, you know. Here. Uh, Masters of the Air, it has like a bunch of different available torrents on Torrent Galaxy. <laughs> so you can uh, you can find one that's got the right res and got you got look at the look at the cedar seeding numbers on hmm. hundreds, hundreds of cedars. Hundreds of cedars. I mean, Hun there is dozens there of men feeding their seed into the. There's candy everywhere. Hundreds and thousands. Well, you got his 1080. Fuck it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Fuck it, we'll do a live. No, I do appreciate 4K? more of these guys uh, posting it in uh, H.265 encoding, which makes it smaller at the same quality. <laughs> How the fuck does this shit work? Do I, so I, I did the download, and will that just automatically, when I click it, will that open up my qubit torrent? Okay, cool, yeah. I wish I would give you a preview. Yeah, there, there's two different things you can click. There's the download and there's the Nah, I got it. Right? It's done. I was going to say, you can also click on the U, because that's a magnet. Basically, it's yeah, a, yeah. Call a magnet link. You know, just find the if you place the PAL the box, but say. don't build it, you can see the circle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Good night, everyone. Now that I've done uh, a good deed by not showing food. Patrick how to break the law. It's not a law. It's a suggestion. It's a guideline. It is. It is li literally guideline. law. It is literally law. <laughs> lie to yourself. Mm -hmm. law. Where's the law? Where's the law? Point yeah, out the law. The Where's the law? Say that a man can't click a link. He's merely he's merely pressing a button on his mouse. When did that become a pixel? When did that become a pixel? You're saying <laughs> that matching a pixel to another pixel and clicking your mouse is a, is a crime? Oh, how dare you? Here you go, fucking bitch. <laughs> Where's the last day I gotta go to bed? You stupid idiot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he called you big dumb. You dumb. Okay, so <gasps> circles behind that bit of ore. One of that one. Yep. Yeah. And am I getting yep. the far one? <gasps> 
I mean, close enough. Fuck it. I wonder what that tree of life is over there. Feels important. Yeah. Okay. These are the bits of the game I hate, though. It's like, I just want to explore and adventure and kill things. How dare you make me have to make faces? <laughs> So are gills still messed up? I mean, we've always been safe to make one, really. Okay. So I might have you uh, join so that we can somehow joint build the <laughs> paper. Like, make it pretty and I'll give you all my everything. <laughs> Things I find are yours. I'm not sure how that'll work. I dunno if it's limited to three bases per guild or per player, so that might fuck things up. Oh. Fuck it. You can just what? tell me how to make things pretty and I'll be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can always come visit me up north and take notes. Yeah, that'll work. Take those screenshots. <laughs> takes longer they changed it Aww. no wonder I was feeling like I was just really bad at it today I'll check on my pals down the hill I don't think I'll be able to fully move tonight. I need to wait for my breeding to get done and the eggs to hatch. I mean, you can still have that happen. You just take down everything else that isn't important. Like, you take down most of the beds except for two, keep up the things to feed them, and then remove everything else. Cause that's how I did outside to in, in importance. What needed to keep functioning while I was doing it. It only took like 30 minutes. Not even, probably. The biggest thing is you just keep ending up overweight, so I built a bunch of metal boxes right next to the pal box, and that came in handy.
My biggest worry about moving here is that my pals won't be able to go up and down stairs properly. If that's the case, I have a major problem. I've noticed that as long as uh, there's clear ways to do it, they path pretty decently. It's just once uh, they were trying to get to my second floor, they started to have trouble. So I wonder if double stairs, like double wide stairs for where pals need to move would be better. And maybe a double tall ceiling just in case. But I know flying pals can't go inside because they suck. <laughs> so as long as they're small, they should be fine. Like even my penguin king was able to go inside and stuff and go upstairs. Not super well, but you know, he was able to do it. Yeah, I mean, every floor is two walls high, so theoretically, it should be fine. Oh, okay. Then say give it a try. I'll be able to test soon with farming pals, I guess. Plus, if you don't have the pals going super far, like you put beds right next to where they're supposed to be slaving away, it's a lot easier. Then the food's right there, so they don't have to move up and down stairs and go super far. I'm gonna spawn someone to farm, and we shall see. Anubis, I choose you. Build that shit. Yes. Actually, I should need a second box thinking about it. This place is just gonna be for farming. It normally take for the order respawn, do you think? 30 minutes or not? I'm not sure. Alright he got to the farm easy enough, so now when the sun sets we'll see if he can go upstairs to bed. Oh you gave him like their own little beds? Like on a different level? <laughs> The base is complicated to explain. You'll have to see for yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, bye. Bye. If there was infinite view distance, I could see your house from here. Uh, probably. <laughs> oh, you can at least see the mine base from here. Imagine. You're right there. Okay, maybe not the mine base. Maybe there's a little bit of mountain in the way. But you can definitely see my house. Unless that wall's too high. On the I'm on the side of the ruined city, so I'd be able to see that if it rendered, and I could maybe see your place. Yeah. So far, it's just flooring. I kind of just mapped out what what we can walk on, and then kept open those sulfur spots. From what I can tell. Everything should be easy once I'm done. Weapon is damaged. I would also be able to see paths. <laughs> ah, she's a stalker. <laughs> One thing that I, I'm nervous about with this base, I wonder if they're just gonna walk off the side of the cliffs so how thin this little spot is. Like, my main base is gonna be fine, but this little <laughs> fucking ore base is kind of fucky. I'm gonna have to, like, put the beds towards the center or something. Fine. Oh, there it is. I was like, why ain't nothing working right? Yeah, it went down as soon as I opened my front gate. <laughs> You're like, make way for the king. <laughs> and the server said, no. Oh, it saved how much lore, or, or not lore, or was yeah. left. <laughs> I was hoping it would reset so I could see where everything is supposed to be. If you build over the spot where a node is supposed to be, will it keep respawning in there? No. Oh, so you gotta... Okay, avoid that. Now it's broken, it's just like old school money. And you have to shoot one. <laughs> so annoying. Enemy squire. 
fight time. Kill the shit out of it, my children. Defend daddy. I skip bonus points for shooting up the ass. Yep, this is exactly what I suggested to do. What? Oh, you're here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna see where exactly some of the assault areas and then I'll steal around the area. Did you see my pals just beat the shit out of that? Yes. <laughs> so good. Love that shit. I'm thinking about making this uh, creature's skeleton my armory. I think that's just cool. Also, there's like a fuck ton of ore over to the north. I bet if you made a mining base there instead, it'd always be loaded when you're at your main one. Depending. Sorry, the east. Okay, is it the one where I set up a base just to my east <laughs> up on top of that hill? I didn't see one there. If you put your mouse over to it, is it the grid uh, five seven nine three five four? Or that area? So that's the place I found earlier, and I was like, score. <laughs> no, it's much closer than that. Oh wait, really? Okay, show me in a sec. Let me just fix my uh, pickaxe. Where's my Boyd? Yeah! Yup! You know what I think I want to buy myself tomorrow? I think I want, uh... White Castle. like six bucks for the burger that I've been wanting to go try Freddy's one of these days what's Freddy's is that like a burger place like burgers and ice cream oh okay cool yeah I love those sort of places especially if they're like diners oh diners are my jam born in the wrong era for just yeah food. it's kind of like steak and shake apparently but better Ooh. That's good then. I like steak and shake, it's just too expensive these days. Like used to be affordable, now it's fucking bullshit. Alright, I'm here. <laughs> Where are we looking? Damn it. <laughs> here. Here's a trick. We. Oh damn, this is better than the spot I found. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I might move it. <laughs> I just set it up too, and it's close. And you can literally see your base from here. Yeah, so I bet right. it'll be loaded. All right. Um. Yeah. You know what? Because it's room for beds and stuff a lot better. I'll show you the place of that. It was. I like that. Oh yeah, let me put a mark here while I'm thinking about it. Not me forgetting to fly halfway through the flight. <laughs> 
Don't be me. Man, this stamina shit that flies for the birds. But fuck the birds. <laughs> Mine can go quite a while. I know, and I'm like, I can't wait to hit level what, 34 or whatever it was. Then I'll be able to saddle mine and call it a day. Just over this big ridge. I really took the complicated route this time. Still following me over here. Because you might be able to set this up if you want it. It's not crazy. Yeah, it's just ahead of you. I have no need for another mining base. Mine has both ore and coal at it. Oh, nice. And apparently I found the worst way to fucking slide down that hill. <laughs> I fucking fell down and like slid to almost the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy it in a sec then. And I'll just move to that other place. That, that place is way better. I don't know how you guys keep spotting shit like that and I'm just like, oh I found one with five nodes or whatever it was. I was like, it's so nice. And you're just like, give me... <laughs> Hold my beer. Give me a sec. I just saw it on my way here from the ruined city fast travel. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, damn. <laughs> no, don't slide back down. We just got to the top, you piece of shit. Arguably the worst uh, flying mount at this point in the game. <laughs> I mean, it literally is. That's the starter flying mount. Yeah, and uh, by this level, it's fucking useless. Trying to get everywhere is a pain in the ass for this thing. All right, cool. So let me uh, eat this place up. You awkward upgrade to a Van Worm. Yeah, I just got one of those uh, recently. It was in the egg, too, and then I caught one. I wish it would tell you the stat for flight. Like, it can fly this fast, this forward, you know, go this high and shit like that. All in one bit of stamina. That would be nice. Instead, I'm probably gonna wait for a wiki. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those games that deserves a wiki though. There already is one. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> I wonder if it's made by the devs. They're just like, well, just in case no one else plays our game. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, give me enough right off the bat. And then I need 15. Just need more dirty wood. I can't fast travel to there. <laughs> Oh, and it's a runner. Cool. All right. That feels much better. <laughs> it's not able to fly. Oh my god, what the fuck's wrong with this thing? There we go. <laughs> This is so much nicer. Good suggestion, by the way. I always feel like uh, Sam Witwicky and Transformers going optimize whenever I like hop onto these freaking birds. <laughs> I can literally fly from the ore base to my base in one flight with this dude when it took three to get there or more when I was on the other one. <laughs> oh my god. That's horrible.
though my hyper worker Anubis made 111 cloth in like three seconds. Oh my god. Yeah, mine isn't that crazy, but fuck, he's he's great. <laughs> I need a whole team of them. Like if I could get them to somehow do all the tasks, I would. They're just so good at everything. His traits give him plus 100% work speed. Damn. So it's double a normal Anubis. Oh god. He's just crazy fast at everything. Enough to make it. Oh wait, any seeds. I love watching these Brotherhood of uh, bullshit try to burn down this uh, Ragnarok, doing zero damage to it. Like they're doing damage, but the Ragnarok just doesn't care because they're barely hurting him. <laughs> He's just casually flying, and they're just all five of them chasing him. Bringing 7,000 pounds worth of supplies to the new base. I do also like how close it is. That <laughs> is so much nicer to get to. It's not as much of a pain in the ass.
I feel like I need to go out and get a bunch of Tom bats. <clears throat> they seem like good miners. Alright, based. I finally got the very selectively bred Kitsune I wanted. And <laughs> the fox. Yes. It has plus 50% attack with an additional plus 10% to fire and ice damage. So, that mean he hits really hard and whatnot, or <laughs> smashing people's fucking faces off? I mean, if it's a fire attack, it'll do plus 60% extra damage, so yeah. Ideally, I also want Burly Body on here for more defense, but I can live with it being squishy. I'm gonna wait for the sun to set so I can verify that the pathing works fine and then I'm gonna go to bed since I have to wake up a few hours earlier on Saturday and Sunday. Oh why? What's going on? My brother and his girlfriend are out of town for his friend's wedding. Oh, so you get to just chill? So I have to wake up early to feed the deer in the morning, which is my brother's job. Yeah, that's cool.
Almost there. Yep. Hm. Why haven't all the power tools I brought? Half of them just vanish. God damn. Did I leave them at my old base site or something?
I need some more miners. Some old diggers. Toil in the dirt. Enjoy it. <laughs> so everything I'm looking at does log in. I wish one of the sorting methods was like, like what they can do, like you can select miners. I don't think they need anything else. Just more beds.
I'm glad you could fast travel while you're overstuffed. Like, that would really suck if you had a hoist drop. Yes. I couldn't do it. I feel like I'd be so annoyed. All right, they seem to be able to go up and down the stairs just fine. can't think of anything else they might need at this mining base. They got food, they got beds, they got work. I'm done. Structure of my main base. Uh, and... I don't know why some of these tables get built backwards. <clears throat> yeah, 
My noob is making a hundred cloth in looks like about twenty seconds. <laughs> Holy crap. That's what I need. I did the power gear, I did repair, skipping that. I'll have to put a furnace more useful. Yeah, for now. You really <laughs> fucking... Oh, this guy.
<coughs> we have plenty of that. Yeah. Whoa. Probably catch a bunch of them for the mining base. Start none. There won't be none.
Oh, you bastards. Large dark egg, let's see what it is. Hey, cool, Tombat. Exactly what I need. Depressos and pull on a Tombat. No oh shit, there's like an actual castle down there. Kingdom. I got shrekt by it being under a volcano. Or a boat, I say. Hey, where'd it go? There it is.
I don't know why it's such a bitch to take off with this one. Like the other one, you just tap space and you would take off. This one tries to hop first. I don't think I left anything up here. Let's check out my abandoned base. <laughs> Break all this crap down. Just going around killing everybody. I can die after I grab the last one. you thought. Okay. So I'll get a little bit of 
munchies. That's just about everything. <laughs> Fast round. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was gonna say that shouldn't even exist anymore. Show that out so when I come back on, it should show where all the nodes are. I think that's everything. I think we successfully moved our base. Bare minimum shit set up. Make sure everything's watered. That way when I come back it'll all be already ready to go. And I definitely pulled out my pals because I don't want it to be like yesterday and today. Or I log in and everything just gets destroyed. I don't feel like I'm going to get 
get killed. <laughs> Shit. I forgot to give them their own category. Ah, whatever. Alright. Finished water. <laughs> Where it is coming in. All right, that's gonna be it for me tonight. Hope you all had fun. All right, let's see. Let's get to that dad wisdom for tonight. Sometimes we all need to touch some grass and go out for a little walk. Trust me, it'll actually make your uh, life a little better. Like, especially the walk part. Like, remember to take full, you know, nights of sleep, or at least sleep when you can, you know. But going out, being in the sun, definitely useful. If you can't do that, do what I do, and just take vitamin D pills and, you know, vitamin B and all the other stuff you might need. I even take potassium, vitamin C, and all that stuff instead of multivitamins. Multivitamins are a little bit of everything but you want your full amount, so make sure you're doing that. Um, today's shenanigans. It's never too late to marry an old person to rob the will away from the family. You know, especially if you treat them better. <laughs> so make sure you're getting out there and making it the happiest years of their life. Have a wonderful evening. It's been Beard.